was a natural break with that song that was what, like, what, turn the music back on the map. I was like, where did where did it go? <laughs> where did all the music go through that break? Oh oh oh, it ended. It was transitioning to a new song. Uh-huh. So it was, a, it was a good natural break that I could turn the music down and introduce everybody to the to the latest episode of Tech Talk Thursdays for April first. 2021 20, we're all serious here. there's no bull there's no april fools here because these tech companies are making the fools of themselves even on their good days <laughs> mm, right. i am one of your hosts marcus major lennox summers of course i'm joined this weekend every week by it's your boy kev kevin kev is in the building hey and of course we're joined this week by the GOAT who is stabilizing herself no matter what she does. Idio Sananka. Rocking that new Osmo Mobile. What was it? Osmo Mobile 4. Yes. So I've I've got the two. And every time I would talk about, I keep saying pro. It's like, I would just want to put, it's like Apple and all these other companies, they want to put pro in everything. I think I broke it already. Not even gonna lie. Ma'am. Run. Ma'am. Ma'am. Because Ma'am. like when I have it open, it's like a little crooked. Like it's not straight up and down like it's supposed to. Well you gotta you gotta like well I know what mine I had to play with it a little bit to make sure it was lined up. Like I had to adjust like the weight and all like that. It's it's weird. You gotta adjust the weight? Yeah it's, yeah, it's cause it's gotta balance itself. It's gotta know like the weight distribution and shit. Or at least like mine. I don't know what the oop. four is. I don't know how the four works. But the two, they like got to adjust it to make sure, like, okay, yep, okay, this is center. I don't, oh. I don't know if I did. Uh, oh, you mean weight? Oh. Let's see. Because it's, it's supposed to, like, see, it's just a little crooked. You know what I mean? Yeah, you may have to adjust it. Like, it, was, it wasn't crooked at first, but now it's crooked. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Whew. So what's going on there? How 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 is your April Fools going? Have, did, did anybody get you? Um almost almost got me. Somebody almost got me with um I think it was it was funny though, because it's a it's a game I don't really play. It's called Blasphemous. Mm-hmm. And it was like they had like, oh, it's oh we're, we're doing a whole new different mode, and it's all spikes. And I'm just like, I don't even play the game, and I'm like, what? How do, how do you move when it's just everything around you with spike? And then it was like, oh, April Fools. And I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I see y'all. <laughs> Uncle with the gimbal out. <laughs> Trying to, trying to look, look, I get it. I really do. I get mm-hmm. it so much. Yep. You get, get, get a new play toy. Just can't, you just can't help. You just, just happy. It's like being a kid again. That's that's what I love being an adult, especially the age where you order a whole bunch of shit. Because it's like you just yeah. open in boxes all the time. It's like Christmas every fucking day. When I moved, yeah, it, it was Christmas every fucking day. Mm-hmm. We order it mm-hmm. so much shit. The pandemic, look, as serious as it is, it was great for ordering shit. Yeah, it was oh, shit yeah. here every day. It was for like, my survival, oh. but it was Christmas. It was look, like look I open. Like, what did Santa bring to me today to help to help me live my life and not panic? It'd be like, what's in this box today? <gasps> Toilet paper! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I order groceries. <laughs> No yeah. way! <laughs> like never in my life was I happy to see like socks, you know, <laughs> like legit like <gasps> lunch meat, socks, like... you know, like. <sighs> oh boy, um, Aka, did anybody get you? The gag is I created a hologram, and I'm not actually here right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anka's more advanced than all of us. Just, mm-hmm. yeah. just wild. 
Nice. <laughs> no, nobody got me. I don't think anybody really cared. I haven't really heard. I only heard from like two people today. Um, that I mean, that text in my phone, not including Discord. I'm always on Discord, but it's like, no, yeah, that was about it. I think what was kind of funny was like I seen one from Astro, and it was like, it was like, oh yeah, we got the new headset, and it's the headset with um the ear with the cutout out without the driver, so there's no driver in it, and it's just like somebody's like bare ass <laughs> ear and the cup. It's like <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all on a real one. Y'all the on a real one. Un- cancellation. Yeah. <laughs> right. And and was also funny. This, this is a, this isn't a um this wasn't an April Fools thing, but it was it was pretty much it was pretty much almost it could have been April Fools. Like there was my home my homie had ordered some hair some headphones, and instead she got a controller instead. So I'm like. Um, uh, retailer, how you mess up this bag? <laughs> how you how you send some? How you say headphones and read controllers? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They said just put something in there. They said just put something in the box. It's working out for me. Be like, it's working out for me. It's great. You know what this feels like? This feels like the equivalent <laughs> of like when you see like dudes with like big stacks of money on their ears, like, huh? What? Just a little, I can't just, hear you yeah, over like, a seri- like a serious controller and a PS5 controller? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, li- I'm literally like Xbox, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. Hello? No. They said just yeah. put something in the box. They're going to notice. <laughs> Just I mean, it in there. I mean, sure, we're going to talk about this a little bit later, but again, like Microsoft is willing to sell you an Xbox um, One X. To put on your head. No. Oh. So. Yeah. I seen them giants. Who lost? <sighs> look, I because I already reached out to the PR at Xbox. So look, um, so you know, they need to accidentally send me one of those um, <laughs> Bang and Olufsen headphones. Look, order, look, order a game from them. They'll see the headset system. Just mm-hmm. accidentally put it in a box. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we we um we accidentally shipped you a part, uh, some of these um B and O headset. No, no, you didn't. No. I, no, I, I definitely got my 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 copy of Horizon Zero Dawn for the Xbox One. Mhm. Mhm. Mm-hmm. You did what? You got what? Who? who what you ordered? No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Yes. Yeah, I ordered it. scale bound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I got what I, I got what I needed. I got what yeah. I needed. That's all you need to know. Mm-hmm. Scale bound uh, not even no. Don't even worry about that. Don't even look that up. Don't don't question that. That's why I got that. I got scale bound. Let's yep. go. <laughs> yep, we're good. We're good. Mm-hmm. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, and I guess it's, it's obviously well for those audio listeners, you can't see. Um, and normally I introduce people in order. Why would I change that? But hey, Sin is not with us. Um, on vacation. Much deserved vacation. Probably the one who's, who's doing his three day weekend right. But just not mm-hmm. being. <laughs> it's a guy. I'm good. Yep. <sighs> <sighs> well, all right. It's time to get into some news. No, we are not cut. Co- mainly because I, well, I pointed it out last week that this was April, that it was going to be April 1st. But no, there's no April Fool's roundup because we are too exhausted to really care. <laughs> It's, True. Yeah, that. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be regular news from you mm-hmm. know pretty much everything leading up to the day. Yep. Except for the fact that Activision still fucked up even today. Even today. Even today, there was no news article for it, but yeah. Um, apparently, rec- doing DMCA takedown requests for um, Black Ops leaks because you know you just can't. I guess people are too tired of winning over there. Mm-hmm. Too tired. Bobby. Bobby, you're doing too much. It's way too much. All right, so let's see if I set up these overlays. Oh, and again, speaking of overlay, shout out to Anka again. You get to see yeah. another a, a new piece of work here. The new the new three uh, three person overlay with no little screen so we can, you know, take up a lot yeah. more of the space. <laughs> this is great, fantastic. Gotta love it. But yeah, let's get into the news. And yes, I did set it up right. 
Hey. Everybody is label, everybody's name is labeled correctly. I did, we did a thing. Good job. We did it. Um, let's go and get into some of this tech news. And yes, it's all mixed up. So we're going to go like from Facebook to Apple to Twitter to Facebook to Apple. And this is a, it's a whole thing. Um, starting out with um, some text message news. Of course, if you're using SMS text messages as your two-factor authentication, please stop. Stop doing it. Excuse me, but just in case you can't help, US carriers have fixed an SMS routing vulnerability that let hijackers hijack text or hackers hijack text. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we covered an article a couple of weeks ago <clears throat> where somebody at Vox had paid a hacker to try to hack into their accounts, and the hacker used a method that allowed um, them to not necessarily even contact the carrier to get them to route text messages to the hacker. Um, at, um, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T have plugged that hole that allowed that to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, it was a company that was called Sakari. Yeah, a company called Sakari, which offered a text rerouting tool uh, mm-hmm. from a company called Bandwidth, which is applied by another company called NetNumber. <laughs> resulting in a confusing network of companies contributing to a vulnerability that left SMS texts open to hackers. Yep. Yikes. Um, so, not, so it wasn't Vox, it was Motherboard. Uh, or I think Motherboard is a part of Vox. I can't remember. Um, the hacker hired by Motherboard was able to access Sakari's tools without any authentication or consent from the rerouting target, successfully getting texts from Motherboard's test phone. <coughs> so, Yeah. One, I'm just again going to reiterate, reiterate, uh, reiterate. Do not use text messages for two-factor authentication. Don't use anything other than like a separate app to do it. Right. The email to do like email, I feel like is easier to hack than fucking text messages. Um, yes. But if you have to use an SMS text message, I know there are still some services that still send things to SMS. Yeah, um, Bank of America does it. I don't know why. Yeah, banks banks still do it. If it's look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. As somebody who has worked for a company that provides software to banks, those are the nastiest motherfuckers who work in in just IT. Yeah, and they are very, very, very in love with whatever bullshit they built. So mm-hmm. getting them to change it. Yep. Yeah, you ain't gonna do that. Yeah. They'd rather, oh yeah. They'd rather sue you, threaten you, talk to like the C level um, employees on you. Mm-hmm. I, I've had the vi- I had the vice president of a company look get, look down at me one time. Yep. They would rather. Mean, let, let, let's I mean, also let's just say that's probably why I don't work at that company, my CI. I can't do yeah. this. Yeah. A lot of these, a lot of them would rather mitigate the damage than fix than like. Call, like fix to either fix the vulnerabilities or upgrade to protect the vulnerabilities. Which that makes no sense to me. You're gonna spend more money trying to put band aids on a problem versus then just solving it outright. Mm-hmm. I mean, for them, it's a lot of money and it's supposed to be moving really, really fast. So any right. downtime will cost them money. Yeah. Exactly. So, so fix it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. I guess they rather nickel, they rather be nickeled and dimed than having to deal with like millions, if not billions, mm-hmm. of dollars in lost revenue. Yep, that just be like, okay, like, mitigate the breach, and again, then when it happens, you make, mitigate. You can make the Suez Canal a lot bigger than you do, but you right. don't because it's gonna cost a lot of money. So, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a mess. mess. That's the thing. Oh, that that, that crack that yes. cracks me up because I know somebody got fired that day. Okay, we I know at least three job. people got fired. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Miss Brent? Yep. Look, we look again. Every week we will be we will talk like we will talk about the same shit all the time. Was it, it two fact authentication? Use a password yep. manager. Mm-hmm. Back up your shit. Speaking of which, yep. yesterday was World Backup Day. Which again, boy. Stories about that. Um, dead hard drives. Luckily, I have backups, and got my back. Got my. I got got a data. I got um, a disk that's supposed to be coming here. Apparently, the company I use, Backblaze, will send you a hard drive with your backup. Now, granted, it will cost about two hundred dollars for them to do it, 
but when you return the hard drive, they'll refund your money back. Listen, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's really not bad. When it is comes it, to your data, it's yeah, it's not bad. But it's like then. So I did not know they will give the money back. Oh, I thought it was you were paying two hundred dollars and you got to keep the hard drive. Which for a eight, if they were giving me an eight terabyte external hard drive, I'm like okay, that's great. And especially now, because I just gotten paid, I got paid yesterday. Like, you know what? Fine. Oh, and the Stimmy came through finally. Um, hey, I was like, you know what? Two hundred dollars. Sure, do that. Like, it was a whole bunch of ar- um, Twitch archives, but it's like, still, I want those. Yes. Um, but it was when I read it, and they were like, "Yeah, when you send it back, they will refund them." Oh. Oh. Even better. Yeah, I can. So now I'm like in this place where like I haven't sent it yet. So like the entirety, the entire time of them restoring the backup and then sending it to me, I'm thinking whether or not do I want to keep this hard for night? Because y'all know I love storage. <laughs> you can't keep everything, Major. Uh, but, you, but you could damn well try. You right. <laughs> <laughs> I have that broken two terabyte hard drive just sitting as a trophy now. Should I? I'd be like shit. I'll be sm- I'll be smog <laughs> sitting on sitting on all my data. I be <laughs> like I did the math. I think I'm sitting on 20 terabytes of storage on my main rig now. So like I bumped it up from two. I bumped it up from two terabytes to four terabytes on that broken drive. Um, also, the reason why I'm keeping that two ter- that broken drive is because of the fact that I realized the other day. I realized yesterday I've had that drive for almost 10 years. Ooh. I bought that drive um, when, from when I was working at Red Hat, Ooh. and it was like somebody had ordered a whole bunch of them. So, I was like, you know, what? I don't know what I'm gonna need this hard drive for, but I'm gonna pick it up, just bring it to my house, and I will build. When I build a computer, I will use this hard drive. That hard drive has been with me since then. It's like I can't let this go. Mm-hmm. <coughs> This is my first dead hard drive that I didn't buy and immediately die on me. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing I could really do with it. Right. So I kept it. And now it's just like a nice little testament of where where, where, all, where all of this started. Where, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's like some of its history is within like the Majors House website too. So mm-hmm. um, yeah. you know, if it's possible, have that thing framed or mounted. You put it like you get a shadow box. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a you know how Tony Stark like, did his first little chest thing? You do that to that. <laughs> yeah, like, and like get a shadow box and be like, I love you 3000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of hard drives, uh, I still haven't put. The- oh, you know what? I thought about you too when I heard because it was making some weird clicking sounds. I thought about you instantly. <laughs> I like, this must be the shit that was keeping Aka up at night. That's why, like, I couldn't wait till the weekend to, like, because I was, I spent most of that night trying to figure out what drive I was going to buy. I was like, hmm, I could buy, you know, like, the six terabyte. I could get another 10 terabyte. I was like, no, I need something now because I hear this thing clicking in my computer. I need to get it the fuck out. Like, right. it's not going to destroy anything in the computer, but I need to get it out. It is clicking and it is annoying the shit out of me. The telltale drive. Ooh. Click, click. Click, click. <laughs> click, click. What? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah that, that's a tangent. Yeah, but again, like, we'll tell you things. Two-factor all your stuff. Backup yeah. all your stuff. Use a password yeah. manager. Yes. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I really I really need to write down our, like, the, 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 the commandments. Yeah, the, don't tech, reuse the, tech, the tech commandments. Yeah, don't reuse your passwords. Yes. Yeah, that's why you get password managers so it can generate new ones mm-hmm. and you just keep them. Don't click on emails you don't know. All right, now we're just making IT commandments at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's security commandments, then there's IT commandments. <laughs> yeah. We're going to sit there, just rewrite whole company's um, IT policy at this point if we keep up. Seven deadly IT sins. Mm, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be I'd be threat I'd be threatening some of my clients. I'd be like, I don't I don't care if it's a if it's a thing for deodorant. Don't click on it. <laughs> Let st- 
stop, back away, let me look at it. <laughs> no, the only person I got to do with like that is my wife. I said, look, you keep on, keep at it. I got five external IP addresses now. I am not, I am not above attaching multiple um, routers to this house. You can have yours and I can have mine and yours can just be a dumpster fire. Um, new Spyro on Android pretends to be a system update for your phone. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, that's creepy. Um, the malware first found by security firm Symperium is surprisingly sophisticated. After being installed via a bundled app outside of the Play Store, it masks itself using the same notification as a verified update from Google. Once it's active, nothing is safe from its touch. This spyware can view and upload messages, contact, search history, and bookmarks. It can track location, capture photos using the camera, record phone, record both phone calls and external audio, and even still copy content from your clipboard. Who would they try to spy on? Wait a minute, that sounds like a hitman double eight secret agent. Like what? Who are they spying on? Yep. I mean, <laughs> everybody does banking on their phone. Yep. The, and you never know. I mean, it's that thing of like casting a wide net and you never know what you're going to get. Yep. Like you, so, up, like you can end up with someone who works for a government entity and just don't know. Yeah. It's like yep. a watering hole attack. Remember, okay. I know you guys remember. I think I've mentioned this before on the on the podcast. But you got you remember um this was during this was during the 45 admin, 45 administration. And this is what happened. I think it was like the previous prime minister of Japan. I think it was like Shinzo Abe. This is a new guy now. I forgot what his name is. So Shinzo, Shinzo came to, you know, more, went down to Moro Lago. Oh, with, yeah, I remember this. And, and they played they play, they play golf. You know, like Trump's all like, look, I'm schmoozing with people. <laughs> and, and Shinzo's like, dude, I'm clearly here to get some link, to get some to get some time in America. That's all I wanted to do. I just want to play in Florida, you know. And so North Korea shot the miss shot that missile across Japan. Like just pew, just flick <laughs> yeeted a missile across Japan. And it was a big deal, you know. They had, you know, aides or like they're they're in like the dining room. Aides are like looking over, they're in like the outdoor dining room and at night and aides are like you know, like having like pl- like missile movements and plans and secret documents all on the table in the middle of this di- outdoor dining dining area, and they got their phones out and they're using their phones for like you know light. So they're using the lights on their phone for light. And I'm thinking to myself like, if somebody had the decent, if somebody had the good foresight to hack this phone. This phone could easily just be like, and just literally like take all the picture of troop movements, thing movements, like silo locations, whatever, 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 you know. So I'm like, all somebody has to do is just hack one of one age phone, and just go, and it just take pictures, and you don't even know it's taking pictures. Because right now we're all sitting there with a listening with a listening post in our pockets mm-hmm. <laughs> a listening device in our pockets every day di- every day see my friends that think is why wi- that is internet and wireless enabled and they think i'm weird when i say turn your phone off i want to discuss an idea mm-hmm. i'm like no it's not weird because they're listening yeah turn that turn that bad boy off two weeks later you're gonna be like "Ooh, somebody released my idea that's because you told them about it uh-huh <laughs> Wait, who are you they? Told... See, see, I'm like halfway. I'm, I'm with you there, but almost. Like, who is they? I, I don't even they. know. <laughs> if you gotta ask, if you gotta ask who they is, you don't know who they is. I they. Mean, I'm gonna say I feel like that was obvious, but okay. Yeah, it's like how a lot of folks say the enemy, but don't really say what the enemy is. But everybody knows who the enemy is. <laughs> it's like the enemy. You know who, who, are, the who enemy. is they? Who, the enemy. If you gotta ask who they are, you don't know who the enemy is. And of course, somebody who say like, "Yes, I know. That's why I'm asking." 
I felt like that was painfully obvious. And I'm like, yeah, well, you, well, you don't know that. <laughs> you just got, you just not gonna know. If you don't know, you're not gonna know. But trust you me, you know, know who, you know who I know the know. enemy. <laughs> you will never, never, never know. <laughs> See, like it's, it's the, it's the, the real ones know. They be like the enemy. Okay, you're right. Turn it off. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just turn don't, off the phone. Fine, don't turn tell me. Everything. Don't tell yeah, me. You I'll just tell you all about Apple's right. Apple fighting the right to repair. Oh, always. Um, <laughs> Apple lobbies against right to repair bill over privacy concerns of third party repair shops accessing user data. Do the parts? Apple. So they're so saying close. they don't want people to go to third party repair shops. Because they're Pretty afraid that they're going to access your phone's data. They could. I mean, they could try. I mean, Again, it's anybody a thing of like, yes, you are absolutely right. They could if they, they wanted could. to. But really? that's not what this is. Like, right to, like, no. right to repair, sure, it, like, it will help third party companies be able to fix our devices, but it also allows us as end users to right. do the same if i want anybody to access my phone data it would be me right let me have the tools to fix my shit yeah especially if it's just like i want to slap and i want to slap a new screen on it exactly because every iphone that i've ever seen pretty much every second iphone that i've ever seen is the screen's broken like like i see one phone with not broken screen and i see another iphone with another broken screen. So it's like one out of every three iPhones has a broken screen. And I'm and I'm like, and you know why a lot of them have broken screens? Because it's typically because no, because it's it's a pain in an it's a pain in the left butt cheek to get fixed. Yeah. It call, I mean, whether it's to finally get somebody to fix it or just the cost of it. Because yeah. you know, like nobody's got Apple Care. Like the carrier insurance isn't really going to cover it like that. Mm -mm. Apple Care too expensive. The phone itself is too expensive. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> Apple recently allowed you to pay that monthly over two years, and it equates to about the cost of Apple Care if you were to buy it outright. Mm -hmm. so they that just makes it spread just it out. Yeah, it makes it a little bit more digestible. All of my devices are on that monthly Apple Care. Hmm. And I'm like, yeah. Exactly. I, like, I think my computers are the only ones that aren't. Which I mean, for my Mac, yeah. my Mac Mini, eh, it's that sure. But the MacBook, maybe I should have did that. Yeah. I won't. Think. I, I thought I think, would. Actually, I think when I bought my MacBook, my new one, they weren't offering it on MacBooks at the time. But I think they do now. Uh, like they, they rolled it out. They like. They, they, they rolled it out slowly. Like it wasn't like, hey, we're doing. Like I didn't even know it was a monthly thing until I think I got my iPhone 11, my 11 Pro. Why? So like it's recent. Yeah, this thing, this whole thing is just recent. Well, still, I don't like paying monthly on anything. It's just like, I mean, it helps, but at the same time, it's like. Yeah, I mean, it's a thing like, hmm. if if it's the equivalent, sure, I can, I can, I can go with it. Like if it, they're charging me interest for that, like, okay, I see what you're doing here. Right. But yeah, like it, it, it tends to it, it, it equates out to like how much they were going to charge you for that two year service. Mm. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah I mean, not. yeah, I don't know. It's just I wish hardware companies, especially Apple, is like, man, let me just fix my shit. Just that part. Give me the tools I, mean, I need to fix my device if it breaks. I mean, half of us are already better than Apple's own Genius Bar anyway. At work, you know what I am? I am the official, unofficial Genius Bar because everybody comes to me to fix their Apple devices. Same. And they're like, I was on the phone with Apple for two hours and you fixed it in five minutes. <laughs> so, so I don't have that much practice with Apple stuff. Like, I mean, I mean, can I send my M1 to you? My M1 Mac? Maybe. Yeah, my I mean, Ethernet, okay. my Ethernet port keeps cutting after like eighteen hours. The only the only reason I have as much experience as I have is because they grew us growing up. They had us on both systems. 
Yeah. That's the only reason. Right. I think and, the last Mac I used in school, they were on OS 8 or 9. Mm-hmm. I don't think I saw OS. I don't think I saw OS X until I was in college. Right. And I think the I think the fun I think when I always think about Apple and right right repair is uh, recalling another thing that happened that I might have talked about on this podcast was when the per, the tech tuber who shall not be named from Canada <laughs> and his and his video with him of him. And his associates like like deconstructing a Mac. I think it was one of the Mac the the iMac Pros. Yeah. And like and then you literally see him and then you see his associate like trying to put the screen back on and sparks shoot out. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why did the spark first of all, why did the sparks come come out? Did you have it plugged in? Was it plugged? And then it's and then him and then the tuber himself, like absolutely complaining about why why I can't get parts for it and I'm like bro you broke it you did two videos you took one apart you took it apart on video and then you broke it on video and anybody in Mac who would look at it be like no (laughs) you broke terms of service my guy (laughs) but see that's the thing like it's one thing if like they denied him repair for it right but it's a thing of, okay, if you're not going to fix it for me, at least let me fix it myself. And they were like, no. Yeah, and then like, I get that part. Like, don't and lie. that is like, why we're mad. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's the second part. It's the second, like, yeah. okay, one, you lied to Apple, so that's why they're not going to fix it for you, because you fucked right. up. Right. But, and I'm not mad at them for that. Right. <laughs> I am mad at them because of the fact that they won't allow you to fix it yourself when you fuck right. it up. Um, right. But yeah. And I'm like, and I get that, and it's it's that whole like why we always say like this is this is you know like this is why we march, but this is also the equivalent <laughs> of this is why we're mad. I was like, yes, you can't. I'm like, bro, you broke terms of service, and I and, and you broke terms of service. You made a video of you breaking terms of service, and you made a video complaining that you broke terms of service, and they won't let you get the video because you broke terms of service. So, bro. <laughs> That's on you, man. Privilege. <laughs> Privilege. 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 So, that, so, so that's why I'm like, yeah, that's what, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if it came off broken or something broke, you know, after a while, and I want to keep my Mac, I can't get the parts because if you know, I know there's definitely guides on the internet saying like, okay, you un- you screw these, you unscrew I mean, that. Here's I the tool. I fix it alone. Does that. Yeah, I think alone does that. Uh, was it? They and, have the tools. Uh, for Alex that. German or some other dude in New York mm-hmm. who do, who does the Twitch streaming of like his repair shop. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, again, like that's why. That's why I. That's why I like PC. That's why I like building PCs. Yeah. Like yeah, when that hard drive broke, the next day I had a hard. I had a replacement for it, installed it, and was still ready to go live on Twitch. Mm-hmm. The only reason exactly. why I was late yesterday was because I had to put up groceries. <laughs> had nothing to do with the hard drive. Yeah, yeah. It's many that's many a time where I've been streaming. I'm like, yeah, it's nothing to do nothing to do with like Streamlabs, nothing to do with internet, nothing to do with games. It's life. Just life. <laughs> life and being a good son. It was that's purely what... coincidental that the internet went out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh yeah, stream yeah, Streamlabs broke on me a little bit. And but that was it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Apple, let us fix that shit, please. Yeah, exactly. Apple, stop it. Um, and more Apple news. WWDC 2021 has been announced for June 7th, 2021. Mm-hmm. Or is it June 7th through 11th? Excuse me, 2021. Um, obviously, you know, they're going to talk about the newest OSs, um, mm-hmm. iOS 15 and all yep. that stuff. Um, what, 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 Bombshells, y'all think they're gonna announce during WWDC? What do you think we're gonna see? Probably more Apple Arcade stuff. I actually that's, have no idea. That's a definite. So, so the frame, so the frameness. This is where they normally talk about the software, not the hardware. Yeah, pro- 
Yeah, the, yeah, the software. Ba yeah, because like they will show you things that you could probably do on your existing devices. Yes. Which kind of sucks because like you just hope like, man, maybe they'll say something that will hint at the new device, but no, like everything they talk about at WWDC will be on the phone you currently own. Right. Or the Mac or the and, iPad you currently own. And and then they'll have an app, and then they'll have like an Apple Live event in September, because that's exactly what, that's how that's what happened. Like it's every year, it's, it's every year. It's like clockwork. They don't need to make any more iPhones because they just they just need to stop. They just need to stop. Like no more. Like, like Assassin's like Creed, you take iPhone. a break. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to they're starting to get like Fast and Furious at this point. Actually, they've succeeded. They they they've passed. Fast and Furious, <laughs> keep, mm -hmm. keep it going for no reason. Mm -hmm. What's next? Gonna be iPhone 14, skip mm -hmm. 13. I mean, they just got honestly, it's at this point, they should just get rid of the numbers. Yeah, like it's like this is the iPhone, they classify it by the year, like they do with every other fucking product. Yep, generation iPhone series X. <laughs> like, we, I swear, I could have sworn we were there like a couple of years ago, but it's like, nah, we just keep going. Like Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is this is the twenty. Like all the old Macs, the Macs were were like that. Were like the Mac twenty eighteen. This is twenty eighteen Mac. This is twenty sixteen Mac. This is twenty. This is twenty fourteen Mac. Like the Macs were all Macs, but they were like the year when they came out, or in the in the in the in the respect of the iPad generations. I think this is like the twelve. Well, iPads did, the iPads did have numbers initially. Yeah, I think it stopped. I think they stopped after four. I know the iPad Minis had numbers too. Yeah, because uh, I have an iPad oh, Mini good. two that I gave to my son, and then the school gave him an iPad Mini four. Mm -hmm. um, I know, like the MacBooks, they were classified by like yeah, like it was like early 2015 mid 2013 it's like stop what, what are you doing here with this um, are they gonna bring back the ipod um, you know what i fuck with the ipod i look at the ipod <laughs> touches today it's like oh I would. look at these little things right mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh, Cause some, cause sometimes i just want sometimes i just want music but i would i would definitely like a, i i would like an ipad with the with the hard drive capacity, but with Spotify in integration in it. I mean, the iPod Touch. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Let's see iPod.com. Let's let's let's, go, let's let's shop for an iPod. Mm -hmm. Seems like the only one they got is just the iPod Touch stuff. Um. Yeah. The, the fact the fact they still make iPod dollars. touches. Uh, yeah. That that, that 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 does That's that does phone. really good to me because sometimes. That is a phone. I am not. I am not. I will not be bamboozled. Like how much? Like how yeah, much? Yeah, Pixel is? Four. A Pixel Four was like three fifty. That is a cell phone. Like, look, uh, uh, look at iPad, uh, uh, iPod Touch, two hundred fifty-six gigs of storage, four hundred bucks. Nah, I probably just. Probably what is the reason? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, let's. Cause see, that's. Cause see, that's like two. That's like too big. That's like too much to be like a splurge because it's like, dude, I just use my phone. But if this was like at like two ninety nine, I'd be like, Wait, I might. Cause like this, my phone's like three fifty. Okay, all right. so, <laughs> so let's see. The cheapest iPhone that they have is three ninety nine. So the cheapest what? iPhone is. As much as their most expensive iPod Touch. Yeah. See, I would. See, I just rather get. I'd rather get at that point. I'd rather get just get a cheap iPhone. iPhone. And it does everything that I need, and it does everything I need. Than the iPod Touch is. That's what I say. The iPod Touch is only for like maybe like a specific. Oop, that is not focused thing. And even if it was like, well, I want to like use it as like a media device. Well, at that point. You might as well just get you an iPad. At that point, <laughs> for two ninety nine, you know. Well, that's a bummer. I, which I think, which they don't sell the Pixel Four A without four uh, without five G anymore. Oh, it's a 
without without five G. Yeah, it's just the four. It's just um the four A with oh, okay. There, never mind. There it is. Apparently, I had to click in a little bit more. I'm about to say, I'm like, dude. I'm, yeah. So the Pixel four A is three forty nine. Yeah. So it has was it, I think it's one twenty eight storage just outright. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see if I can find it. I think this is. I think this is a. Are you a ten? I think your 1080p screen. Yes. Old iPhone doubles mm. as iPod. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Hey, look, my yeah, pixel. Don't, don't mm. Mm. My pixel is so good. I had my second generation iPod somewhere. Yeah. So that's a... Yeah, it doesn't say how, what, what the storage <laughs> is. Yeah. Because, see, I would, I would, because like I said, I would fuck with an old school iPad, like I mean, not iPad, iPod. That's you talking like, about the little, the little one? Yeah, like the brick, like the Wait, the, the, the brick. OG. You mean the oh, oh not the. So one hundred twenty-eight yeah. gigabytes of storage for the Pixel Four A, three forty-nine. Mm-hmm. So about half the storage of like half the storage of the um, most expensive iPod Touch, mm-hmm. twice as much. As yeah. the cheapest iPhone SE for mm-hmm. like three forty nine. That's not bad, and it, it's a phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They should, you know what, Kev? They should re-release it. They people will buy that. Wait, what? Are we, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was researching when y'all were talking. What are we re-releasing? The OG iPod. iPod. I mean, iPod. iPod. Oh man! L- limited limited edition. That. Blue look Bluetooth connectivity. So they could just take the th- they are could we, take the headphones jack out of the it. Le- the the latest model. I don't want the big bulky one. No, like I'm talking the, about the, a slim, white, like the, the a latest, slim the latest the latest iPod. The, yeah, the, the, the latest one before it got discontinued. Right. Okay. Yeah, I want because yeah. I want those were so cool. Like if you had mm-hmm. that kind of iPod before, like you know, your phone became your iPod. Like right. You you were somebody. Right. You were somebody wait, wait, with wait, those. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Man. Because that would be because sometimes you just want something in the background playing music that is not your phone, and I could imagine that just sitting on like a desk or a, t- a coffee table and just be playing music. I don't think we're on the same page. Okay. Are you talking about the chunky white iPod? Well, no, we're not talking about. I'm not talking about the Nano. Uh, no, not the. We're talking, talking about, the about iPod with a click wheel. I'm not talking about the Nano either. The Nano was the little. Hold on. Thingy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just yeah, gonna like Google the... iPod and see what shows up. Yeah, let's just say. So look, we're talking about I'm this I'm one right here. To... I'm not talking about that one. Yeah, that. Not this. No. Like, like the first one. Oh, you mean the one with the actual fucking hard drive in it? Yeah, yeah the chunk. <gasps> like if they re-released you know that, but it you had the what? same tech, not the newer technology in it. I but would this buy that. Why not get this thinner one? Wouldn't I would get that thinner. want the thinner one. I, so I want the nostalgia. So you <laughs> want this thick ass device with nothing she want the in chunk, it? She wants the chunk of chunk. I want the chunk. I want the thickness with she want, thickness. she want the mo. She want the moto moto. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you're I, gonna give me. The giant iPod. I want to hold that hard drive in it. If you if you want to give me that iPod with the latest technology, it still needs to have an a, a platter hard drive, but with mm. terabytes of storage. I want a ten terabyte iPod with a physical click wheel, and I can feel the drive spin. It, in oh. like having that, it is so big. That when but, you feel that drive, you you feel the plate spin, it moves the iPod. So yeah. so you pretty much so you pretty much want an iPod the size of a Walkman. That's what you're yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna some, I'm gonna tell you how bad an idea that is though. That's a that's I a have, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I would so um at my job I have a um I have a hard um the little thing you can stick a hard drive <laughs> into to read. Uh-huh. I took, I had a 14 terabyte hard drive in that thing, and I just took it out while the platters were still spinning. There is enough force in those platters. <laughs> that hard drive moved my hand for a bit. It was wobbling. It's not, it's not hot swappable, Major. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I unmounted it. I unmounted it from the from the computer, but the power okay. was still running the um the blender, yeah. the blasters. I didn't know it was the first time I ever held a, like a still spinning hard drive. Oh yeah. So I was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> That sounds mm. scary, not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, it was. Luckily, yeah. the, luckily the drive hit was already broken, so there was nothing like I there was nothing I could do to break it any further. Right. Granted, I had to send it back to mm -hmm. um get it replaced. So I guess if I did drop it, Seagate would not have like um exchanged the drive out. Mm. But um yeah, I put a thing like, like whoa, 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 whoa. hold it, hold it, hold it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was whoa. at a robotics club thing when I was like 10 years old and I looked down in the trash can outside of the classroom and somebody had thrown away one of those iPods and I'm sitting here like <laughs> what? Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> crack. Hold on real quick. When was what year was this uh, where, where where about? If I was 10, uh this had to be 2000 Five? You know, you know what, you know what I would have done? I'd have fished it out of that garbage can. I, See, you know, I didn't even think about it. I was just like, what? See, no. my ten-year-old kid would have done that. The reason why I'm asking is because I had an old, I had a Gen One iPod. Uh, yeah, I had a Gen One iPod. Yeah. And I lost it when I went yeah. to college. Well, this was at Livingstone, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. Look, look, ten year old Kev would have never had an iPhone. An iPad, this, an iPad. No, no, this, this is at Livingstone College. I missed yeah. an iPod. <laughs> yeah, see, ten, yeah, ten, ten year old, ten year old Kev would have not had an iP an iPod because you know I'm old. So <laughs> he's like, he's like it, what, what iPods a thing when we were ten? What, what are iPods? I got this Walkman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, I got I got cassettes. Yeah, I don't think an iPod was a thing. When when did the iPod come out? Nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I'm 1998. More like 19, more like 1990. More like 1994. <laughs> 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 so yeah, CDs were kind of, kind of started big then, but not really that. Still had a Walkman. Oh, so, I forgot they released that version of the iPod. So the iPod was released on October 20th, 2001. Just so you know. Seeing it out, the iPod will be 20 years old. I was in first yeah. grade. Mm -hmm. Wow. 2001. Oh, well, I guess I was, yeah, I was 17 when that happened. Uh, mm -hmm. Damn, now you, it's like, <laughs> how, it's, now you just make me feel real young. <laughs> yeah, I'm, old, I'm told you, I'm old. <sighs> I'm old. I'm old. But thinking, uh, thinking, I was like 13. Like that was 13. It's like it's not. It's like hearing 17 in 2000 I was like, man, that sounds old. But I was like, well, I was 13. Yeah. That's just four years. Like it. Look, it's not as bad as it looks. I was six. It's not as okay, old as I. Okay, that is as bad as it looks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was bad. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's okay uh, uh, look uh, look i've seen those oh, um I've, I've seen those sciatica. memes i've seen those memes um that come out when you go try to buy alcohol and all i gotta do is look at the 19 on your driver's license <laughs> the 19 looks at it you good this you good <sighs> um but yeah man i like i remember with that ipod i actually um this is like you know getting real good into computers or whatever my dad bought that old iPod home and we were trying to figure out how to plug it in. We went out and bought the Firewire card to put into a PC so we could not, sync that damn thing. Not the Firewire! Because it was Firewire. Wow. Well. It was an IEEE 1394. I remember the fucking model number of that port, that the, the, specs, the, spec, um, the specification for that port. IEEE yeah. 1394. Yeah, I, yeah. Because you could, because if it would, because here's the funny part, if it's not, a, if it's a Mac, it's Firewire. Anything else, is it's it's that it's that port number because it was like you can't call it Firewire if it's on a PC. Yeah. 
Now, if it's on a Mac, oh, it's FireWire every day, all day, every day. We so, have a 2009 Mac monitor at work, and it has a FireWire connection. Actually, it has a multi-connecting thing with FireWire, USB, mini display port, um, something so, else. So just so you know, it's <laughs> still in use today, according to Wikipedia. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. And it was only superseded by Thunderbolt. Mm-hmm. For consumer use, a Thunderbolt. That's not even that old. That's not. Yeah. Well, you know, I they um they still have they still teach you about FireWire on um the Network Plus exam. So, mm-hmm. like I remember. So actually, no, we installed that FireWire card for something else. My dad. So my dad was into videography too. Um, when I was younger. Um, mm-hmm. I guess kind of where I got it from and he had a camera he was trying to figure out how to get the footage from his camera to the computer and it required the firewire port mm. so that's where I have told him where to get the card and I installed it for him and we were doing that so yeah that's how long I've been in this fucking game it, like I had to have been in like single digits at that point I've been in the game for that fucking long what's good <sighs> Um, uh, not saying throw the Mac away, but hey, look, we ain't throwing no Max away around here. Mm-mm. We ain't throwing no. They're Max good away. for some. I'm mm-hmm. actually getting mm-hmm. rid of my 2012 Mac. I, I'm I'm gonna sell it because mm-hmm. how much a hell of beans? I'm not using it. Put some Linux on it, but it's mm-hmm. slow. <laughs> look, man, Linux Linux will make anything fast. Fill, fill my cup. Put some Linux in it. I can't. <laughs> I, I'd rather sell it and get some money because. Yeah, for what a hill of beans? What? Oh, Look, yeah. I, I, think, like, I, I can't remember how much I sold my old 2013 MacBook for. It was not a lot. Okay, I could put Linux on it, but then I don't know. Like, thank, thank you, Ruination, many, Ronan. Look, Ruination will devices. support your Mac if it runs Linux. I will too. I, yep. I'm, I'm with you. I'm right here with you. Mm-hmm. Also, like does this. that Mac does that Mac even have an Intel processor? And in when did that switch? I feel like we don't look. Welcome to. I think it has Mac, an Intel well, in it. It has an Intel quad core in it. I think. Look, welcome to Mac Intel. Talk Thursdays. <laughs> we, yeah, <laughs> Mac Talk Thursdays. Yeah. <laughs> M- M- MTT. Um, I'm just tired of looking at it. It's so heavy. I bet. <laughs> um, I like, why? Also, I want to point out, yo, this um, the image that you said now, the WWDC one. Look at the melanin. The melanin. Um, also, the you can kind of see off to the side. She's wearing um, a hearing aid. Oh, I know. I just noticed it like when we were talking about it just now. Um, that she's wearing a hearing aid. Also, she's pulling off the Craig Fe- Fe- um, Federighi meme. You know when he opened up the the the, the Mac Silicon Mac. Oh, yeah, he's pulling. That, she's pulling that shit off. Like yo, like look, Apple got jokes. Like a little bit of levity with their um. Anti-consumer friendly practices. I yeah, a little, little bit level with laptop. the until you still, it. still, still making you buy more silicon instead of letting you fix the one silicon you got. Yep. Really okay. I'm oh, sorry, Arco. What'd you say? I didn't even realize that was a laptop until you guys said something. Yeah. That was... Yeah. All I'll tell you right now. All these events are gonna be. All these events are gonna be online only. Yep. Uh... Now on. Well, I know they, they may bring back some physical stuff. I mean, there are some there are some benefits of being in person, but yeah, um, like well, there's another one about packs that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. Yeah. Uh, a little bit later on. Boring yeah. online. It's, it's super boring online because I mean, like, okay, you sit in front of the screen. I want to be there. <laughs> mm-hmm. True. One day, one day, Anka, we'll 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 be able to meet. <sighs> you well, yeah, you know what, Major? I was going through my pictures. Yeah. And I found a picture from QuirkCon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all took a picture at Boxcar. <laughs> mm-hmm. The one time I drove all the way from Raleigh just to go to Boxcar in Durham. There's one, like, two miles from me. But, no, nah, I went to the one in Durham. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Granted, I do a lot of work in Durham, so. It's not I was like, oh, we were outside. Good times. <laughs> mm-hmm. The day when I realized Anka is a lot taller than I thought she was. You thought I was short? Look, it's hard to tell how tall people are over the internet. It's like, oh shit. That's true. Well, That's hilarious. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I I always I always tell people like when you see me, like imagine like a black dwarf, but not a dwarf in the in the in in the lollipop gill uh, <laughs> term. Basically, imagine me as like a black thorn oaken shield. That's what I am. I was thinking I'm, more, I was thinking I'm more Lord like of the Torbjorn, but I yeah I'm I'm a I'm a Lord of the Ring dwarf. I'm a Tolkien dwarf. I am yeah, so a that's, Warhammer that's, yeah, dwarf. When you said dwarf, <laughs> when you said dwarf, yeah, I was thinking like you know again like Torbjorn, like yeah, like the motherfuckers with the axes and shit, like they, like yeah, they get, they're getting their hands dirty, like, right? I, I'm not even familiar with the other dwarf you mentioned. Yeah, because yeah, because because when I say dwarf, people be thinking of the seven. Of the seven variety, <laughs> you know, yeah, okay. a whole that. Look, I, look, I'm watching uh, Once Upon a Time, and yeah, those dwarves like, look, they get to work. Yeah, it's like it's so only, they, like only when they're standing up against somebody else. So I realize, okay, yeah, they are short men. Uh, yeah, but other than that, like, nah, they seem like regular sized people to me. Yeah, so that's that's me, bearded, melanated, and looking like he just. Look like he literally just cleaved a, a troll in half. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. What's yeah. Going on, Ron? How you doing? Kev said, I'm built different. <laughs> Be like, there's one dwarf that still draws breath. <laughs> hey, welcome to another episode of Remember When? Yeah. Remember when we said that, hey, Verizon extended their 3G coverage and they weren't going to shut it down anytime soon? How are they going to shut it down at the end of 2022? Right, just kidding. <laughs> well, they just need to figure out another date. They just need to figure it out. Yeah, we're um, we going we gonna to figure it out, but this shit's going down. <laughs> so, yeah, Verizon has announced that the 3G network will shut off on December 31st, 2022. So, if you are still holding on to old devices that are connecting via 3G, maybe not be on them. Just don't be on them. 5G is here. And... Contrary to dumb belief, it does not cause COVID. It's not killing it you. What major? No, no the Anka. conspiracy. No, Anka. <laughs> you know, you know what, you know what causes COVID? COVID. <laughs> well. You know what causes COVID? Stupidity. Exactly. <laughs> um, not not to Sometimes. dismiss those who caught COVID because it could not help it because yeah. of other people being stupid. Stupid. Right. We're talking about the one that spread it. Yeah. Because they were stupid. <laughs> yeah, they do not want to minimize those yeah. who have caught and have yeah. serious health implications or have died from um, COVID-19. Yeah. Yes. Stu- stupidity is only 60% from... responsible. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, there were yeah. some people that went overseas recently from the, um, the, the States and they were talking about they couldn't come back because they tested positive for COVID. And one of them said, um, well, I wasn't showing any symptoms. Like, did you forget all of last year's information, like you, yeah, you can yeah, have it, and you not be reason why we are wearing masks, dumbass. A- a- <laughs> asymptomatic carriers. Two words. Asymptomatic carriers. They're too big. You might Those feel words fine. are too big for them. You got the disease. <laughs> Those it's words too, yeah, are too big yeah. for them, Kevin. The word was too mm-hmm. big. They choked on it. Mm-hmm. They were like, or carriers. That also works. <laughs> Um, in another episode of Remember When, uh, remember when Google Meet was um, allowing people to make free unlimited video calls? Hey, they're extending it to June. So, Zoom kicked you out of free. You still have Google Meet. Yeah. There's also Discord too, but Google Meet. Google Meet. Also Gilded, but we don't talk about that. Oh, yeah. yeah, Look. (sighs) We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. (laughs) Yeah. They're still uh, developing that, though, right? Well, I mean, everything is still being developed. Well, I mean, like, like... Look, Mark Zuckerberg said one good thing, and that's, like, no software is ever finished. Nothing is ever finished. That's true. That's true. But I'm but I'm mad that he was the one that said that. <laughs> I feel like he's the one we remember saying it. I'm pretty sure yeah. there are smarter people I mean, before I, him who have said it. I mean, Todd, Todd, Tower, Todd Howard's whole, like you know per, like physiology is that yeah it's like no no game no game is no, like no no game is not finished because we didn't finish it because we didn't try we could have but we didn't 
Exactly. Maybe I should try it now that it's on Game Pass. Um, mm-hmm. Hey, remember when we talked about that there was going to be uh, a bill, you know, to try to help um, get more broadband out to more people? The White House is promising broadband for all, and they want to make it the new electricity. See. So hopefully... I'm hoping we get classified as a utility, right? Because see, what I want is I want it to a in a perfect world. This will be the in a perfect world. This would already been the same way. This was this would have already been it. But now I hope that it's so popular that voting against it is like a millstone around the neck I mean, of people who don't want it. <laughs> I mean, Kev, 50 people voted against the COVID relief bill. Right. So, so what I do just, you say? So I'm just saying like more millstones. That's what I'm just <laughs> saying. Like, like, you guys don't like puppies. You don't like <laughs> ice cream. You don't like pizza. Walks on the beach. You know, like, I want it's that to literally just... It- it's almost as if you don't like freedom itself. Exactly. Right. It's like it's like you it's like it's like I don't like ice cream. What kind of monster are you? Those like, people over there, they look too happy. Right. Like, y'all don't like hot dogs and, and apple pie on the fourth of July? What I mean it's it's get it's getting to the point where it's like it's like getting to the point now where they're just like we think they're like all like quote unquote Frank Underwood of House of Cards. That's how they see themselves. But really, they're all like they're all like Frank some, Underwood. Some, oh, some, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. They see themselves like Frank Underwood, but they are actually Kevin Spacey. Yeah, they're they're more Kevin. They're more Kevin Spacey. I was going to say like they're more like a character on Veep, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> like no, they just, see themselves as Frank Underwood, but according to Matt Gates. They seem more like a Kevin Spacey. Yeah, very, ba- basically just like, just literally just like throwing themselves down down the stairs to just try to be bad. Like I mean, mean, like just absolutely just I'm um, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be terrible. I'm just gonna be a terrible human being. Vote for me. And I'm like, bro, ruthless <laughs> pragmatism. Yeah, and I'm like, people want this, <laughs> especially in the middle of, especially in the middle of a Panasonic. Yes, make it happen. <sighs> but yeah, I believe this was a part of their um, new infrastructure plans, which um, I think was it. The governor of South Dakota said that on the infrastructure call, they talked about no infrastructure, and then proceeded to list all the things that were talked about, which was in fact fucking infrastructure <laughs> you know like but who who's on this is this is this, is this, is this your king is this your queen is this your queen look i love i think it was like i wish i took a picture of this but somebody i think it was on msnbc they talked about 45's like past like infrastructure week and it was like and it was and it was a i think it was about eight times that they tried to do infrastructure week and then all of a sudden a bombshell just drops in the lap about something some news breaking and then it's like they couldn't even talk about infrastructure so they didn't have anything quote remotely close to infrastructure it's like we're gonna have infrastructure week oh look the president just did you know the president just did x and it's like they can't talk about infrastructure week. <sighs> next <sighs> yeah. all right Wild. Nobody tell low. Um, Mar- I'm sorry. Jeez, wrong one. Wrong, wrong. Congress person. Um, nobody tell the Klan mom, Marjorie Taylor Green, but the airline industry oh, uh, body is launching a COVID passport. Yep. For the iPhone. Yeah. Klan mom is probably losing her shit over this. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Good International bet. Air Transport Association announced today that it's going to launch a COVID passport for test results and vaccine certifications for the iPhone in mid-April. Um, the COVID passport app was due to launch by the end of March. 
okay, why are you telling me that my it's been connected this entire time? I don't need you to remind me, damn it. Uh oh. <sighs> well, finally, I forgot to turn off my notifications. I need to do that now. Um, the COVID password app was due to launch by the end of March, but it's still in the testing phase. IATA Regional Vice President for Africa and the Middle East, Camille Alotti, Alotti, a lot. I'm gonna say Alotti. I'm so sorry. Um, said it's expected to be available for the iPhone around April 15th. So, hide your cues, hide your nons. There's going to be a COVID password tonight. Uh, it's going to be a COVID passport tonight. Yeah. Yep. That'd be I. Right. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start requiring COVID passports to get into my house now. But, uh, show, me show me your, your papers. papers. What papers, please? Ooh. Creden- Ooh, what Ooh. if I do set up a Ooh. booth outside my house and just start cost, just start um playing? Light papers, please. Your papers. <laughs> Can I hire like some thugs just to stand outside my front door? And if I didn't have the papers, it's just like close the gate, <laughs> just get them carried off my front porch. Gods, take them away. <laughs> That's why I've, I've been doing that. I've been doing that playing Evil Genius. I've just been like my guard. My guards, uh, my guards go in. AJ comes in. I'd be like, guards, seize him. <laughs> <laughs> then you see like the little guards like punch the dude, and he's like, all right. And then walking him to the prison cell, and be like, <laughs> but you know that they'll just get out and thwart your plans anyway, right? Not, not if, not if they're brainwashed. <laughs> I guess this is Not why we don't see like mad geniuses in real life, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, y'all realize this is just gonna fail. But okay, you know what? Fine, do you? Um, mm-hmm. remember when we talk about Apple being terrible? Oh yeah. Mm, excuse me, they were terrible again. Um, Arizona App Store antitrust bill is dead following Apple and Google lobbying. Hmm. Apparently, they bought off enough people in Arizona to kill. Like, there was a bill on, there was a bill that was supposed to be presented and voted on. It didn't even make it to the Arizona um, House floor. So you, so you mean to tell me a rich corporation? Two, by the way. Hey, oh, oh, oh you're right. Two. Google is involved in this one. Two rich corporations paid politicians a whole bunch of money to say no about something? What? Or no, not to say no, just to make it. Disappear. To make things disappear? disappear. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. That like doesn't happen like ever. <laughs> <sighs> so wild. Just just nuts, guys. <laughs> wow. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. <laughs> Hate to see it. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. What a twist. <laughs> so for all the all the shitty things that Utah is doing in regards to just COVID, they're doing one smart thing. Utah is launching a mobile driver's license pilot this summer. Hey. Hmm. You get pulled over, you can pull up your driver's license and registration on your phone. Mm-hmm. Depending if your driver, depending on your insurance agency, actually allows you to do this. Mine does. Um, go Geico. Okay. Um, my my, my um, insurance card is in my Apple Wallet. I don't know how that will work with police. Also, I really just don't want to find out. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um. <coughs> so apparently, this is um. It's like a technology using mobile digital driver's license or MDLs announced this week. A pilot program is launching this summer that will allow people to use their mobile phones as their driver's license. No more. Sorry, officer. I left my wallet at home. Excuses. Mm hmm. <sighs> Finally. Getting closer to the day where I don't have to wear. I don't have to carry a wallet ever again. Zero wallet. One day. One day. Wallets are so overrated. They are. Mm, trust. 
trust. Um, so, yep, Utah's doing that. Um, so there's some new features that are being announced in iOS 14, uh, 14.5 that should be released later on. Um, probably next, it has to be soon. It has to be soon. We've been, be- I've been betting testing this shit for a while. Um, obviously with 14.5, the whole unlock with your Apple watch, if you're wearing a mask, that's the big thing that's being attached to this update. Um, one of the, one of the new things that, the, that was, um, added to beta testers phones this week was um new siri voices but when you set up a new phone you get to choose the siri voice at the beginning it is not default to the female voice Hmm. so you turn on the phone you set it up it's going to ask you how do you want siri to sound Mm -hmm. um i've actually went through all of the series they do not sound different um so let's see here (laughs) All right, so we're going. I'm gonna turn the music down here, so we can. Um, yeah. So we can see if we can get you. So we get um, yeah. hear them. Let's see. Let's see. I changed my Siri to a Spanish-speaking woman. So maybe mm. like so like for me, I haven't set the English. So I'm only seeing English options. Mm. So hold on, I'm gonna let's see. Switch over here. Yeah. Try to make my window a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um. Also, it's going to be blurry because I don't have autofocus on this camera. The one thing I do not like about my M50. So yeah, there's multiple options here. There's like for American, there are four different options, like two male, two female. But I've got American, Australian, British, Indian, Irish, and South African. Oh, nice. And, Randomly. <laughs> well, I mean, I think those like. All, I don't know. I Ooh. mean, do you want to hear a Spanish person speaking English? I guess it's no, like it's native just... English. I think these are like native English speakers. Oh. So like again, like I don't have Spanish on my phone. So I'm pretty sure like it'd be like well actually I don't know. What happens if I actually change So if you the So language, if you have like So if you have like South African but it's English, is it gonna sound like Ulysses Claw from Black Panther? Like <laughs> <laughs> So when I so when I changed it to Spanish, it gave me Mexican and then Spanish mm-hmm. as the two varieties, and then there are voices within it too. So that's Spanish voice too. That's the female voice. Hola, soy Siri. Elige la voz que quieras que use. So like yeah, mm-hmm. it will change the options that are available to me based off of the language that I choose for mm-hmm. Siri. Right. Be like. I'm going to switch back to English United States. Back back over to the... So it's weird that for... um For, like, if I choose English United States, I still get the other English varieties that go with it. So I get that, again, I get Australian, British, Indian, Irish, and South African. But they don't sound different. They don't sound much different. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. That dude sounded the most Indian. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. That was the Indian woman. and She sounded Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Siri, choose the voice you'd like me to use. Sorry. Something's outside my house. <laughs> uh, That's not good. Hi, I'm Siri. <laughs> Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Okay, that sounded Australian. But it's like, yeah. I don't know, maybe like this morning they all were running together. It was like, they don't sound different at all. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So it's like, the, the, the variations between these, uh, like these regional dialects of English, they don't sound that much different. Um, Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. So that's South African. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. I, I, I don't know. I've not really heard that many South African people talk to me. Um, like I think Elon Musk is South African. I've worked with a South African. Yeah, the, the Afrikaner. Wait, yeah. he is? I believe so. I believe Elon Musk yeah. is South African. 
Yeah, the, well, the Africanas. Maybe the Africanas is like, oh, it's like, Africana is like, it's like, it's like, um, it's like Australian, but a little, but a little thicker. Yes, it's like, I, it's, I, don't, I don't know. It's like, 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 I, like, there's a guy named, uh, I watch 90 Fiance, and there's a guy named Sinjin, and he's from South Africa, and it's like, and it's like, it really sounds like distorted Australian, but it it's it's interesting how his voice his voice sounds. Plus, he's a little bit like a dude bro, so he's got like a dude. Imagine like a dude bro South African accent, and it's Wait, like. Are you talking about ninety days the other way? No, no, I'm talking about before the ninety days. Oh uh, no, it's like no, it's like a full on ninety days. It's, 90, it's a 90 day it was like a 90 day fiance and then it was like happily ever after what you heard oh. a lot of the Sinjin stuff I knew there was a dude from South Africa and 90 days the other way my wife fell into that very very hard oh yeah he's a oh yeah he's a complete he's a complete utter dick Charlie he is, said, is she terrible I have no idea I yes, don't know any of these people is. are <laughs> she is she is she's one she's like one of the like real famous no, like but see, I thought she was British. And then I said the whole thing, like, I could tell Australian from British, mm-hmm. but that's about it. Or Indian from British. Yeah. 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 Listen, like, look up, look up, sit, look up. I'm going to find a video and I'm going to post it in the, in the group chat so you can like hear him speaking. So you get a sense of like, of, of, of how, he, how him and his family speak. Oh, okay. Plus they have like. Uh, 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 like a different version of Dutch, so it's also kind of interesting too. It's 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 interesting. Uh, studying the language and dialects of the colonizer. Yeah, <laughs> and that's yeah. really what this is. What this is down to. Yeah, it really Man, is. How do white people sound in different countries? Like, mm. yeah. But I'm yeah, trying to so, find one. I'm trying to find one with less tan- Tanya in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, the 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 news though, outside of the more Siri voices, is the fact that when you start up a new iPhone, it will ask you, "Hey, which Siri voice would you like to use?" It is it no longer defaults to a female voice um, when setting it up. So there you go, more options. Um. Also, apparently there was a health, there was a battery health bug in iPhone 11 series devices. Ah, I kind of bit my tongue a little bit. Um, and iOS 14.5 will help you kind of recalibrate that. So if you were having some battery issues with iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, I think those are the <coughs> iPhone 11 models that came out. I don't remember. I mean, seeing as I was an iPhone 11 owner, I should, you know, probably remember. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, it's right here. Your iPhone 11, 11 Pro and Pro Max. Um, if you were having some issues with your battery on those devices, um, there will be a um, a supposed fix for that in the next update. Whew. All right, we made it through the tech news. Are you ready for some sad gaming news? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the PlayStation 3, the Vita, and the PSP's oh. online stores are officially no more. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if this was the topic we discussed on our last actual podcast. I don't remember when this news Mm-mm. came out. No, we didn't talk about that. Okay, so, so yeah. Um, this so this is happening because they're shutting down the PlayStation Store. For the yeah. PS3, the PSP, and the Vita this summer. Yeah. <sighs> I'm bummed about it. And I'm bummed about it because my PlayStation 3 does not work. And so now I'm like, I gotta I gotta figure I gotta at least figure out how to like repair it so that I can at least have access to like some of my old PS1 games because so Sony will just not like Sony won't like Sony won't because I'm like yo I 
loved my PS3. Like, I loved everything about it. I loved the games. I loved the, the old retro stuff. I loved playing, like, the Suikoden series on it. I loved it. And, and the PS4 has nothing of that. Like, it has nothing of that. And I'm disappointed of the PS4. That's why my PS4 is dust. That's like my. That's why I'm like my PS4 is dust currently dusty. And and my PS3 is like I'm literally looking at like iFixit tools and like PS3 like power supply, and I'm calling around to figure out who can I drop this thing off to to fix it because I need to get this thing fixed. And I'm like I'm I'm desperate. I'm ready to like. I'm ready to send this thing to Tronics Fix. Like, can he fix it? <laughs> There's a dude that I watch. This is a dude I watch every stream. His name's Tronic Fix. And he fix and he brings old consoles back to life. And I'm like, I need you to fix it. And I mean he gets down into like the 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 uh the microscope and he goes in and I mean I need him to fix it. It'd probably be like a simple fix, probably just pop an old power uh old power supply unit out. And pop a new one in, but I'm like, bro, if that's not it, I would. I'm like, I have nothing else to do. I would pay the money to get it fixed because it's so important for me to do that. And I'm like, I, I'm bummed because it's like it's got heart, the Harvest Moon, Back to Nature's on there, all the Sweetening games, all the all the Final Fantasies are on there, Alpha Three. I mean, pretty much, I rebought my whole PlayStation collection on the playstation 3 <laughs> so i'm wondering like would it would it be better if you just bought a used ps3 and just install them that way probably but most of the ones that i've seen are the top loaders and those things are and those things are ugly and they have issues of their own where like things would break and so i'm i'm like I'm I'm pretty much, but I'm not. I'm at that well, point I mean, where I could. If you're, if you're just trying to get the downloads, like, would it matter at that point? Like, get the downloads. I think. Yeah, like I, I mean, because the situation, like, I mean, this, like, the system will still play. Yeah. Disc-based game, so like that's one. Like, so, like the the whole re- the whole mad rush at this point is to get the downloaded content that you won't be able to get anymore. Right. Cause like there's like there's a few there's a few that I've missed that I'm a cop right, but I'm like, and I would like to have access to the old stuff that I get because you can re-download stuff that you bought, so it's not like oh, it's gone for you know, like it's gone forever. You See, don't, that's the if, thing, if something I'm, happens, to you. That's the thing. Like I feel like people don't know, and right. it's actually something I remembered about halfway through it too. Because yes, I'm I'm making plans as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh wait, I own these games. I don't think like they've not made plans to stop me from downloading shit I already own. Right. Um. But yeah, my plan is to act because I still have I, I have a working PS3 fat here. Right. Uh, it's not the first gen, so it does not do the back. It, it's not backwards compatible, which mm-hmm. you'd be hard pressed to find that if right. they're even still working. Um. But what I'm planning to do is actually buy the biggest laptop hard drive I can find, slap mm. that in there, same, and try to download as many of these games as I can, knowing that I could download them later. It'll be fine. I could probably just buy an external hard drive. It should be able to. Actually, that's it. can I launch games off of an external hard drive on a PS3? That sounds like a weekend to me. <laughs> sounds like a weekend project. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm backed up on week. I'm a. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reintroduce my Trello, uh, my, my Trello, at this point. Yeah, um, I've, I've got VR plans this weekend. Yeah, um, I mean, but I think that's I, I, but that's my whole thing is like I don't want to spend like possible thirty to forty bucks to get the tools and because I still need the iFix kit. Yeah, I think at this point the, I would have just bought a new PlayStation at this. Yeah, because yeah, that's. That's that's kind of what that's kind of what I'm thinking though. It's like, do I, do I a buy a new do I a buy a new P, PS uh, three or like new uh, another PS three? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Or do I just like I have my PS three? Can I at least see it if it's salvageable? 
And if not, then I just cry and I mean, let it go and then go move on. Like, I mean, if you buy the new one, you can technically do both. True. Like, you get the new one to make sure you have it and then ha- then actually start working on the other one. Then if you, hey, you get it fixed, then you got two. Oh, that's that's instantly going to be... If I, if I have two, that thing's going to be the work... Like, one of them is going to be, like, the work... One of them is going to be, like, connected for the stream and then the other one's going to be the new blue either the new or old bluetooth not bluetooth blu-ray player oh i, was, I thought you were gonna do like the whole thing like um khalifa just like have like your row of xbox like your consoles just in the back <laughs> not i'm not that what i'm not that wild I, I, see, yet. I see that i said man like are those like i want to ask him are those systems connected to anything or, or, or for every show you were moving them from wherever they were to have the set pieces on your desk. Yeah. It seems like a lot. <laughs> it's like like yeah. my consoles are like right off to the side here. It's like if I went over there, it's like, all right, I gotta unplug, I gotta put y'all back here. You know, look, I gotta cover this Overwatch poster real quick because you know, Bobby Kodak. So I'm gonna put my PlayStation up here. <laughs> over PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> Cry. Um, yeah, and also I said too. I, I need to fear I need to we'll get to that in a second, but yeah, I'm Neat. I'm gonna have to measure some um measure that back out so I can try to order me some more. Does anybody look leave leave comments in the chat, the comments in YouTube video, hit me up on Twitter, email me um with suggestions where I can get new post art. I have no idea. Nope. This is what conventions are for. <laughs> um but yeah, things that we don't have any right now. Um I need to know where I can go get new art. Um now that I'm Anka's like shifting her head back and forth like she knows something. Do, do you know where I can get art, Anka? I know where you can get anime art. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, so, uh, hey, they're shutting down the PlayStation Store. Just <laughs> anime, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and I'm just. Ain't nothing worse than Xbox and anime. Damn. These mm. damn weaves on this show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I. And I'm one of them. <sighs> Slightly taking over. Mm-hmm. Like I stopped after Ghost in the Shell. So, yep, I found the pinnacle of anime for me. It's Ghost in the Shell. I'm done here. I'm leaving. Wow. Um, Gundam Wing and Ghost <laughs> in the Shell. That's all I need. Yep. I don't care about. I don't. I don't have any. I don't have any anime with me. But I will. Sh- I will show you my copy of like Nino Kuni. <laughs> That's, yeah, a video game. That. That's, that's a video yeah. game. That's a video I know game. it's a video game, that's, but that, hey. That's not, all it's, anime. Not anime. I, it's not anime. It's video game. Video games are art. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Black Cat says anime art is art. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just talking about <laughs> Naruto Ninja Storm is art. Oh, I thought you were going to say Ninja Scrolls. All right. Yeah, you got me back. <laughs> Ninja Scroll? Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's like I, lo- I like how I like how Major was like I seen all the great at- '90s anime and I'm like, yep, I'm good. Yeah, we're it. this is it. We're like, done here. Like, like, like not like the tentpole big series, well, we got, uh, look, the look, hype it was, series. It was a log jam with Dragon Ball Z. He's like, okay, yo, this is what it's about to be. Yeah, no. See, Shonen but ruined there's it. There's so me. many good ones. Shonen has ruined anime for me. There's so many good anime now. Not as good. Not as good too. That's that's the thing. There's so much. There's great. You can never run out of anime to watch. Look, I know I told (laughs) you about the net my Netflix story, right? And why I never had a free Netflix trial. Yeah. Yo, I think Anka. I think I think major I think major might like Doctor Stone. Oh, he would love Doctor Stone. Yeah, he would love. You would love Doctor Stone. Absolutely. And I love and I, and I love that and I love that op- opening. Oh, hi, you, Sakai, good morning, wow. Right? And I'm like, yeah. You talking about the first season opening? Yeah, it was first season. I'm like, yeah, yeah. my bad. <laughs> wow. So apparently, even just watch has never heard of Doctor Stone. Wow. Let's see. Wow, that's wild. That's on. It's on. It's on Crunchyroll. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I, it, I'm sorry. It's Dr. Dot, not Doctor yeah. spelled out. Yeah, not not like Doctor Who, but Dr. Yeah. <laughs> so it's on a it's on a subscription service that I do not pay for. You don't have to pay for Crunchyroll. I don't. 
No. Does it have commercials? I mean, it has commercials, but you don't have to You let look. You let me <laughs> no, look. You let no, me know. Dude, you let me know because I've been want I've been wanting to rewatch Doctor Stone for a while. You let you me know, know when. Actually, you we'll know do, what? I we'll bet do, you I know. We'll do a Doctor Stone watch party. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something because mm-hmm. you know I don't like password sharing, but man, mm-hmm. Plex Plex is great. Like you just let people, you just let friends access your Plex server, and you know whatever people do on their Plex servers is whatever they do. So hmm, there's no telling what I may find on my friend's Plex server when I go. Mm-hmm. You know, Nothing but anime. <laughs> no, well, not, mm-hmm. not just, well, I'm just talking about, you know, um, the Snyder Cut of Justice League might be on there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting at. So, look, okay. I don't know how it got there, but it's there. I don't own the content. <laughs> it's not my server. Look, it was just here. I found it like this. So, who knows? Maybe I'll trip and fall into some Dr. Stone on this blood server. Mm-hmm. Trust um, me. Marcus commercials yeah, it, don't go to get, no. I, I have lived a commercial free lifestyle for so if I have to deliberately watch commercials. Like people say, yo, have you seen a new no, let me go to YouTube real quick and watch the commercial. That's the only way I'm yeah. watching commercials. Yeah. No, they're not bad commercials. They're like Again, commercials. Anka, you do not understand how serious this is. I am willing to pay Twitter to stop giving me ads in their apps. Yeah. He's like, I will I give pay you YouTube a month. not to see ads. I pay Twitch. As terrible as those companies are, I pay Twitch not to show me ads when I watch streams. Yeah. The, do it. the the only time that I'm like physically like watching ads is like on TV mm. and Twitch. I don't even watch TV. Now like YouTube, that unless I'm watching YouTube on my phone. But I'm using, watching YouTube on my computer. I don't get ads. I don't get ads on on, on YouTube. So see, so when it, people are so like you're using an ad blocker, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. See, see, that's the thing. Like, I, I yeah, have YouTube I am. Premium. Like, for me, I like I have I, I use YouTube them, music right. and stuff like that. So I'm paying for that subscription for the music service. <laughs> but hey, it comes with YouTube Premium. Yeah. They don't give me the ads, and I'm fine with that. This is the reason right. why, like, I'm not on Spotify like everybody mm-hmm. else. Who's like, look, I've made I've I've made my bed and I'm lying in it. I'm sticking with YouTube music. Also, if oh. I switch to Spotify, it will be like Apple Music for me and they will not know my music taste and it will be terrible and I will hate it. Yo, it's it's funny, like I was at like and I and I, I'll say this I'll say this all together. Uh drive in drive in noonday Bible study. Okay, it's the whole thing. And so somebody was playing like somebody somebody was playing like gospel music off of like spotify and one of the ads popped up and it was like hi i'm michael in the and i'm like oh my god the i'm like the nerd so i'm like if you're like i i I have a rule when it's like when you're ever doing like streaming like like for a gathering or for any kind of like you know as a business or you're doing like dj work and most like DJ work is not like you have to cut your own mixes or anything, but just literally like being a wedding DJ or an events DJ, just play some, just play some music. But if you're doing like streaming stuff on your playlist, just use Spotify Premium because nobody wants to be at nobody wants to be at a family reunion and all of a sudden a My Pillow ad pops up or an ad for like Best Fiends jumps off and you're like, what? Why? Wh- what? Everybody wants to get back to the wobble and keep the shuffle. <sighs> so what? Is you doing this? Like, oh so God. I, so I, cr- I cried laughing inside when that happened. So that's why I would say, like, yeah, Spotify. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do stream, if you're gonna do streaming, just go ahead and pay that X amount of money a month, please. <laughs> please and, and 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 then you won't have those issues especially if you're doing like oh dancing yeah do that like if you're doing like praise dance and using spotify that way you don't have to do the whole like run to the phone to the ice <laughs> cable i can know what i'm talking about <sighs> can't be before me. that se- before that secular ad comes up can't be me Mm. Why do they put their finger up, walk running across the church? We can see you even more now. <laughs> uh-huh, I'll be like, now, now I'm definitely looking. 
See, I wasn't looking before, but I'm looking now. I'm zero locked in. I'm like, like you just set up. The, you just set up the ping. Bing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ping. You paint yourself now. You're like, I never understood that. Dragon. What's up with the finger? All right, well, I got, I got eyes. I got eyes. I got eyes. You got eyes? Oh, we got eyes. Oh, look. Eyes on, pa- pass, got eyes. Eyes on Tango. Pass, got eyes. Usher 3 is on the move to the back mm-hmm. exit. Mm-hmm. Usher, Tank, eyes on Tango. So, sound man, take a shot. Tango down. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like I said last week, the only show, the only podcast where we talk about gaming, tech, and church. <laughs> And church, sometimes all in one. Yeah. Church shenanigans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was te- it was tech and church at the same time. Look at that. Only podcast. Only podcast. Most of us making fun of the things we experienced growing yep. up. <laughs> yeah. Hire us for your next event. Uh, <laughs> please do. Oh, please do that. <laughs> um. All right, so we've officially entered the era of gaming PCs shipping with our graphics cards. That's bad. That's terrible. Yeah, Imagine. I'm telling you, onboard graphics are going to be big. <laughs> only Intel, yep. only Intel machines at this point. Only Intel machines and Ryzen APUs. <laughs> <sighs> what a world! What a world! Um. But the one thing that caught my eyes with this, so yeah, like they're ship, the system shipping without GPUs, but they're also shipping without operating systems. I think you know what Which I'd be less. You know what I'd be happen. less mad. I would be less mad if mine shipped with operating system without an operating system or graphics card. I would be incensed if my if I bought if I paid in like probably thousands of dollars on the PC. And, and I don't have a graphics card. Like, cause see, I just, cause I could just slap Linux on it. Yep, that was that was my whole argument. It was like, yeah. Now I'm just buying an R, I'm, I'm buying an RGB Linux server now. <laughs> like, what's going Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I, you know, Steam works with Linux. So yeah, I just ride, I just slap Linux on it. But damn it, I would be pissed off if I paid for a 3070, not have a 3070 in it. <laughs> Be a hot man. I'd be hot man. <laughs> so yeah, these machines range from seven hundred and seventy-five to um, thirteen hundred dollars. So eight hundred to thirteen hundred dollars. Um, why? Why would why would we do that? Why would we slap me? That's not nice. That, that's the least nice thing anyone would say. Not everybody laying hands. <sighs> This is remnants of another show. <laughs> not, not quality handsmanship. No. Say he will lay hands all over this place. Um, but yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not not they're not bad Linux machines. I still feel like it would cost a lot more than I'm willing to spend on yeah. one. But hey, it'll at least it'll look pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, and then too, like it's like for those streamers who have like maybe aging systems and still want to stream that hey buy you a pretty little machine that can just encode video using the cpu put that in your background is it's just like it's just like a little accent piece for your streaming mm-hmm. setup it'll be great mm-hmm. but yeah very colorful very very pretty linux servers let's go mm-hmm. pretty Look, much the Cray 2 supercomputer would be so much cooler if it had RGBs. That that's just a scientific fact. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. Please don't don't quote me. If anybody's sister show, please do not quote me on that. No. Quote him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> also, speaking of, speaking of supercomputers like the Cray 2 and shit like that, can we bring back computers that were actually furniture? What? <laughs> well, back then computers were so big, like they had to do something with them, so they made it into furniture. Like oh, they're yeah. chairs, they're comfortable, they're comfortable chairs. We're also computers. Mm-hmm. I love, I love, no I love seeing like Mac, Mac, uh, Matt, uh, what was it, two E's made out of fish tanks. Like, I've been like, yo, I kind of want that. <laughs> like, I kind of want one. I kind of want one of Mac, uh, Mac two, Mac, uh, Mac two E fish, fish tanks. Yeah. See. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I remember seeing these. Yo. Yeah, these scooters were so big back in the day. Like they made them into furniture. Like they're fucking furniture. Yo. That would be. Yo, I was so happy. I would so love that. That would definitely look good in the man cave, impossible man cave. That would be nerdcore as. That would be nerdcore AF. Yo. Wow. Let's see here. I love. Yep, there were seats. They, they, like, I'm just making sure, like, nobody just converted it into furniture. Like, no, these are actual mm. computers. Like, Cray, yep. the, the computer, the, the company Cray, who made these supercomputers, actually made chairs to sit around these fucking computers. Yeah. You know what? You know what I love. You remember like the old like real to real computers back in the '80s, like have that facade and kind of activity, and then have it like be semi active. But then you can open up a panel and then just be like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a storage bench, storage. Uh, it, it wasn't hot to sit on. I mean, I'm pretty sure oh. that we're, like, I don't know how computers work back then. That's the thing. So I don't know how they I were being cooled. Imagine. I can only imagine they were pretty hot to sit on. <laughs> oh yeah, they were, they were, they, they literally had to be in like air conditioning rooms, full units. Yeah. I'd keep those bad boys cool. I'm gonna tell you something. Cause they have. Go ahead. No, I'm saying cause they ain't have nothing as far as like heat sinks go. Yeah. Like, so it's like no, you have to cool the room. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you something. These the, the AirPod Pros, um, the, yeah, the little AirPod Pros I got for Christmas. Who I'm gonna tell you is a saving grace in a server room. Mm-hmm. There's sometimes I forget that I have noise canceling on. I was like, man, why is it so quiet? I turn it off. <laughs> oh, oh shit! 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 shit turn it off. <laughs> It's so loud. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. So loud. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's let's bring back computer furniture. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Um. Hey. In gaming convention news, PAX East 2021 has been canceled. PAX Online is coming in in July. Excuse me. Jeez. Yeah. Um, So yep. Going back to PAX Online in July. Yeah. Which I'm glad because I'm still not ready for in person conventions yet. Nobody, yeah, I don't, we're not. They're ready. still doing BlurCon, but they're probably going to cancel it. So they're probably going to cancel it. But yeah, we're not. We're not going to be. We're not going to be at full con strength until about like 2023. 20, I want to say. I want to say it's a little bit. I want to say a little bit sooner. I mean, given given the ro- given the vaccine rollout that's happening. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think anybody was expecting to have all these vaccines ready as quickly as they became ready. Like, nope. when somebody right. competent came in the office, it's like, all right, y'all do this shit. Like, right. like someone who... Do like, it now! <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, I, I'm into, like, my outlook for all this is a little bit better mm-hmm. than it was before. Right. Because, oh, wait, y'all I- actually could do it if somebody actually, you know, gave you the planet oh 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 that's what we were lacking a planet right got you I, now i see you. i don't I, know if this is bribing people but i think it's cool that they're rewarding people for being responsible for donuts and getting the vaccine yeah oh, donuts. i don't know if that's bribing people like no is it look please like that's an incentive that's not bribing that's an incentive that's like yo you're gonna do it but here's Here's something to coax you to continue to do it. Look, History will, donuts. Look, I will die slower from a donut than I would die from COVID. So you know what? Hey, let's do this. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. Also, it's work to get that donut for me. Yeah, like, it's like the one time I was like, like I actively looked up. Like, I don't think I've ever mm-hmm. looked up a location of a Krispy Kreme that fast. And I'm like, yeah. Damn, now that I actually just can get a donut at any time I want, once a day, at least for a year, and now I live on the other side of Is the county. Is there any Krispy Kreme? Any Krispy Kreme. Like, mm-hmm. they're not independently owned. Like, they're not franchises. They're, I think 
all of them are owned by Chris McCree, so they're all just doing it. Mm. I'm have to, the closest 24 hour Krispy Kreme is in Virginia. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Like, I'll wake up in the morning and go get me. Like, I, I, I'll, I can wait. It's just that I live in South Raleigh. Mm. <laughs> well, technically, Krispy, the other Krispy Kreme is the Krispy Kreme that's close to me is also in South Raleigh, but it's like on the other side of downtown Raleigh. Damn, oh, I dang, am. that's so far. Like, it I'm... is a drive. Before this I went down moved, the street it was me. like right down the street from me. But now that mm. I've moved, it's like Yeah. Uh, I gotta have a reason to be over there. Yeah, the closest the closest Krispy Kreme for me is like forty five minutes away. <clears throat> and if I and if I'm traveling that far to get one donut, damn it, give me a give me a dozen. Like give me two hot and ready. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, like that has With to be, for me to be over there. Like I would say, well, I can go to the Best Buy, but there's a Best Buy two minutes from my house right now. Like, right. This is the closest I've ever been to a Best Buy, and it is great. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh man, you you, you don't even know. Like, COVID Circus ruined. City. COVID has ruined my just utter enjoyment of being so close to a Best Buy. Right. <laughs> like, I planned on like picking up my TV and all this stuff when I moved, because like we had signed the papers for this house prior to the lockdown so, oh yeah like getting shit from best buy to fill up the like the, the studio and the office space oh it's gonna be a breeze like it's just down the street COVID's like oh you can't go into a store fuck you mm-hmm. not having a tv shipped to my house luckily i was i mean luckily i had trucks big enough to transport anyway they opened up the stores by the time we moved but <sighs> you, you feel you feel right that's why i like it did, it did not feel yeah right. going yeah, going to Walmart, like going to Walmart has become like the big, because we got like two Walmarts now. We got like the bigger one and the smaller one. So the bigger one is always like, we need something from that bigger Walmart. Like we need something from it. Something that the smaller one, and the smaller one is like five minutes away from my house and it has everything that we need. It has everything. So we don't have to go to the big one. So we don't have to go to the big one. To go to the big one, we need. We either need tires. Um. Yeah, we need tires, electronics, which that's not often. That's not really that often, because Amazon, and um, something that the or something that's good chance that we'll be able to find at the big Walmart, or we're built like at the big Walmart as opposed to the small Walmart, but they don't have that. So yeah, it's no incentive. I just like. For the few times as I go, I just look. I just go in there and look at pops and keyboards. That's yeah, like pops me, and keyboards. See for me, I have no reason to be in a Walmart ever. Right. Um, the only reason why, like, we have Walmart, think, like the only reason why we're getting things from Walmart is because my wife is a Southern Black woman and just yes doesn't know anything outside of Walmart. Her dad mm-hmm. works at a Walmart part time. It's like yeah. It's like y'all, you know, there are better things. Want like Target? We live closer to a Target, like mm-hmm. a super Target, than we to mm-hmm. any Walmart. Right. We can just when you, go to Target. Nope. Yeah. Like when Target you, has, when, you know, you know, all they can order online and they can bring it out to your car. It's good. They were doing that before Walmart. Mm. Nope. Yep. This whole like Perfect. I'm like again not to downplay this pandemic. But man, mm-hmm. like I remember, like when Caden was born, and we were still trying to figure out how to get, you know, shopping done with a small child. I was like, you know, you can get things sent through Amazon. You can have, you know, store pickup through all these places. But I gotta go in the store, and I don't have time. Boy, COVID changed that tune real quick, and I'm. S- It's one. It's one to say. It's one of the saving grace. It doesn't. It's cut down shopping time in ha- in, in half, it's, and it's encouraged. And it's like literally have encouraged my. It's like encouraged my mom in the worst possible way, where it's like everything Amazon, and I'm like, not everything is good at Amazon. Amazon has good things, but Amazon doesn't have great things. Yeah, we're gonna. We might have to go to a store for this. Yeah, but, but. Instead of us being like, okay, we gotta, we gotta, like, we gotta go to the store, or not, or nothing. 
it's more like let's check Amazon. It's like let's check Amazon, all these big big lots, Harbor Freight, all these other places. And then if we can't get it at these other places, then and only then we have to call Walmart in advance because my mom knows the store manager because of course my mom knows the store manager. <laughs> she knows everybody. She's talked to everybody. She's worked. I've seen this. I've seen this woman is like about a good five foot, like four, and she's staring down six foot tall man like she is eight feet tall, and and them like yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's it. We, like, look, when this is all over, Anka, we need to plan a trip down to Georgia to visit Sandy and Kev. Just so, or especially Kev, just so I, I can meet Kev's mom. Yep. Yeah. My, my mom will <laughs> feed you. She won't cook, but she will feed you. She that's will fine. find look, that's, some that's, level of snacks and drinks to give you and be like, here you go. <laughs> I, I will happily bring food for where I was like, well, Mama Kev, where, where you want you from? Like, look. I just, mm-hmm. You want to go out? Look, the restaurants are safe here. You want to go? Let, what's your favorite? We can go. We can go. I just want to meet you. Yes. Can we come if we all have the vaccine? Both shot. Yeah, yes. look, that's what I'm saying. Like, look, everything has to be back to normal. That's the only way I'm traveling, period. Right. <laughs> like, Fauci would have to come and say, you can throw your mask away! Like, <laughs> but if That's Fauci, never going to happen. Yeah, if, <laughs> but, yeah, if, Fauci, if Fauci or Walensky says it, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm a little bit better now. I'm still gonna keep the mask, but if you say we, if you are saying that it's okay that we don't need it, then bro, okay. Bro, but every, yeah, that like, day is gonna be like, bro, ooh. every like fair day and like every fair day and like Black Friday trip from now on, mask. No, like, I was already not going to fairs. I already do all my Black Friday shopping online. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Look, I was prepared for this shit years ago, <laughs> which was wild. Which was wild how Black Friday worked was like they canceled it, but they opened it up like the day of. And my cre- and my goofy ass still went down to Black Friday. Remember, no, remember Black Friday 2020 was two months long. Yeah, it was two months they long. They started that thing back at like August. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and that's how we, or- we ordered a lot of we ordered a lot of stuff over the like the past couple of weeks, and it was great. And on the day we had to go out because we had to go out to get the this the the family tradition of buying poncetas from Lowe's on Black Friday because they're like a dollar. You know, so I don't even remember Thanksgiving 2020. Oh yeah, it was a fucking blur. But I don't I, remember. I, I do. I do remember. I do remember. Like for the first time in a long time. I actually rested. That may have been what it was. That may have been what it was. Like I got there was actual no rest. There was no sales. There was no like sales had to take care. Like I think that's what it was. Like we just did nothing. Right, and that was the wild part because it was like I basically I ordered a, a, a lot of stuff on Amazon. I ordered a lot of stuff on Walmart. I everything came pretty much everything came to the house. Everything came to, through pickup. And I didn't really stress and struggle. I cooked dinner. We ate. And we watched movies. And and I was like, I ain't gonna stream because I ain't want I ain't want Sin to come at me. So I just rested. Oh yeah, you know what? That also may yeah. have been another thing for me too. <laughs> yeah. So look, remember, don't go sin, nowhere near your computer. Just, sin, just... Sin, sin told you don't 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 Ooh, carry your ass on the screen. That's the only that's the that's the that's the one thing I remember is being threatened. Yeah. To so I was anything. like, so I don't want I don't want because I I don't want to incur I don't want to incur the wrath of sin because sin's probably more closer to me than. <laughs> so I was like. So I was like, yo, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to be like, yeah, we're going to rest. Since they rest, we're resting. Can, can, we, and can we give a, again, shout out to Sid, like, I, I, I'm just going to think about something today. It's like, I love, I love Sid so much. Z, for real. This, that's a real dude. And like, he, we'll put you in your place and he's like, he's right. in the right for all of it. This is, this is, this is, this is definitely, Sin we is are like, all, if you don't take care of yourself, I will by knocking you out. Right. <laughs> That's right. I will like this is we we are all like I said, we are all a, a sin a sinziac appreciation yeah. post. Yeah. Like that's sin, what we are. We're also on 
we are we are also Anka stands yes. as well. Yeah. But we are. <laughs> but, yep. but, but for the sake of this con, con you know, Anka's here, so we're gonna talk content, about sin. We're gonna talk Listen, about sin. And let I, me tell y'all like, how good of a friend sin is. Mm-hmm. I told him I was struggling with. Um, before my not, I was still get, trying to get the um, tax exempt status for a nonprofit, and there was this long IRS document I had to get through, and I was just like freaking out. And I talked to him about it, and he was like, "All right, I'm gonna sit with you, and I'm gonna teach you about this technique, and we're gonna get through this document." And he sat with me, I think for like an hour and a half or two hours while I read through this document and finished it, and I was like. Man, <laughs> mm-hmm. take, like, take who, care who does that? Sid does. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is again. So, this is why I look forward to Thursdays so much. Yeah, same. It's the best day. Like I don't I'll mind having calls my boss because like I know that, that like that Thursday evening, just just wipe it away. Granted, mm-hmm. my call with him this week. It's tomorrow, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Oof. It's Friday, so I'm just like, all right, cool. It's just the end of the week. I'm just going to hide. <laughs> um, also, I saw this comment from Ruination. People look at me funny when I tell them I've never been in a single one before. What is your life like? I what does that you. feel like? Yes. Like, I don't even I don't even know what that feels like. Like, like some, oh, sometimes man. it's... Can Every I, sometimes I'm like, I've been in a single Walmart for like three days. I know that feels like. I've not been in a Walmart. It probably, like, it has to have been well over a year at this point. Yo, I went. Well, yo, I mean, that's I every went. store, but I don't remember when I've been in. I don't, no, the last time I was in Walmart, maybe it was a week before the lockdown. Okay. Because I was looking, I forgot what I was looking for. And I had to mm. risk it in the Walmart. And I yeah. think that was the last time I'd ever been in one. It was like, yep. Yeah. I'm good. You like, know what? There was one Walmart I went to that wasn't ghetto. But that's only because it was in the middle of the mountains somewhere, in the middle of nowhere. And it had the fanciest out, like, um, outer decor- building decorations. Had, like, windows and all these mm-hmm. nice little overhangs. And windows. there was hardly nobody there, though. That's why it wasn't ghetto. Um, <laughs> There is a Walmart in Morrisville, North Carolina, which is where RTP is, the Research Triangle Park, where all the uh, fancy high-tech companies that are in North Carolina is. Um, that that one was really nice. Um, and I want to say probably like the other one, it wasn't a Walmart, it was a Best Buy I went into in Fairfax, Virginia, right outside of DC. They had their phone displays not tethered to tables. Like I could have picked up an iPhone and played around with it, not tethered to a table. It was like, how does somebody not steal this? I don't that get is, it. That, that is the honor system right there. Now granted, like, like now that may, be, that may have changed this because like, look, we, we just can't do this. But that threw me for a loop. Mm-hmm. I miss this place. <laughs> Um, yeah. but yeah, but yeah, in person events, still not ready for it. Man, that was a tangent. Uh, Fax online good tangent. is yeah, very good. Fax online is coming in July. Pax East 2021 has been canceled. Um, yeah. hey, remember when we said Call of Duty was getting too big? Yep. <laughs> um, it's new, and yes, Grant, give it the. Like, this is a storage issue and not an Activision issue. We'll get to Activision. Oh, believe it or not, that's actually the next door. Activision itself is, a, this is the next door. Um, Disaster. Yeah. But look, some good news before we get to the bad news. Another massive update is coming for Call of Duty Warzone at almost 60 gigs. But when you take the update, it reduces the size of Call of Duty. You get some space back. <laughs> <laughs> um, wild so how does that work you gotta download this giant thing to reduce the space well imagine it's like updating like maybe some compressed shit and you know can, I don't know I can mm-hmm. see it working I can see it working but 
Yeah, I would need charts and graphs. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, you still playing Call of Duty after this next story? You have to save some storage space, or you could just save the storage space because you just removed the Battle.net and all the Call of Duty from your system because. Mm -hmm. Activision Blizzard has appointed a former Trump official as its chief administrative officer. Ooh. Also known as Mike Pompeo's attack dog. Um, he's joined the publisher Ooh. earlier this week. Um, earlier this week, the publisher announced the promotion of Armin Zerza as... Oh, I'm sorry. That is not... Sorry. Activision Blizzard has hired another Republican alum to its leadership team with the appointment of Trump's Administrative member Brian Bulatow, excuse me, as chief administration chief administrative officer. Uh, Brian is a rare talent and the perfect fit for Activision Blizzard. His unparalleled combination of business, military, and government experience makes him ideally suited to accelerate our organizational transformation and deliver on great opportunities for future growth. Um, this is from Activision CEO Bobby Cody. Now, I may not be a game developer. I am most certainly a gamer. And outside of Call of Duty, and maybe StarCraft, what does military experience got to do with anything? Everything. And nothing. I mean, granted, if we want to think, or, or, or I don't know, what was it? I forget, was it? Modern Warfare 2 or 3 where after the development of that game they sent like armed people to go after um, Weston's Impella. Uh, y'all remember that? Mm. Do y'all remember that? That whole shit with Infinity Ward? Yeah that was that was one that was one of them things where it was like oh lord Bobby done fucked up again. <laughs> Damn <What>? Bobby. <laughs> Like it's it's one of the things. Like Bobby do so much, Bob, Bobby do so much fuck shit. It's like damn, I forgot about that. And then like yeah, even more fuck shit. Um, damn let's Bob, see. <clears throat> Bob, you wildin'. <laughs> this codex email reportedly makes note of um Bulatow's role in leading the State Department's talent diversity and inclusion efforts. Within the Trump State Department. That's the funny thing to me. Like, State Department is about diplomacy. Why you got? To, why you got to be more military focused in 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 the State Department? The mm. State Department is like, y'all. You basically like trying not to military. You try not to military. <laughs> but the thing is, like, he led the diversity and inclusion efforts at the State Department. You know, when you look there, it's just like, just to see a white, uh, white folk. Yeah. 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 I mean, Activision was recently voted one of the best places um, for diversity and inclusion, right? What was it? Wild. Was it, was it, the, oh, no, it was, LG, it was LGBTQ or something. I on this, what. on this earth? <laughs> it was something. Oh, I thought it was Microsoft. What? No, they were included. It was a group of companies. Oh. It was a group of them. Activision Blizzard was out. on it. <laughs> Yikes. This was after they also said that um, they didn't have to follow diversity and inclusion efforts by another organization because they already do it. We've been talking about Activision Blizzard for like a solid two months. The company, not to mention the so many months prior when we were just talking about Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, it really, it's like, it's really like every, it's like every week is like Activision fuckery. It's like every week look, is like you, act, Activision fuckery. I, I, I make it, look, we, either we can keep talking about Activision or I can bring Cyberpunk back. Ooh. Look, the 1.2 update came out. I have not played it yet, but mm -hmm. I mean, again, and when I Activision's making CD Projekt Red, it look kind of okay. Yeah. When EA that's, is no longer the worst company, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. E EA is actually EA is actually making moves with the whole like the whole EA and Microsoft thing where you know, Ubisoft over there just laying low. It's like, 
Loop Yeast is like Yeast is like, no, like I gotta I gotta keep I gotta keep a low. Don't talk don't talk about division. Don't talk about anode. Don't talk about rainbow. Just just stay low. P- throw a trailer out. Just throw a trailer out and yeast. Cause cause anything ye says, it could be brought it could be brought up in a court of law. So like, we just trying to we just trying to stay out of court, y'all. That's all we trying to do. I'm just I'm just waiting for the moment where Activision comes out and says, "Look, at least we're not right." Ooh. <laughs> and then and then Riot's like, "Well, at least we're not Activision." Ooh. <laughs> they no, like. I will still look to... at Riot. And say, no, Riot. No, no. You over there fucking the boys. No. No, you lame. No, you lame. No, you lame. No, you lame. Right, right. Sit, sit the fuck down. Just sit, have and, several seats. No, you. Epic, and, ep, and epic and like and Tim Sweeney's like in a court battle. I said, I'm sorry. I'm trying to sue Apple right now. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't be trash right now. I'm suing. I'm suing a a, a possible trillion dollar company. I'll call you back. <laughs> no, it's not possible. No, they already there. Apple's yeah. made it. Apple's made it. No, they are a trillion dollar company. We're, They're a trillion dollar company. Yeah, we, we, they, they they made it. We bi- we billions trying to fight trillions. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sequel on on Showtime. Trillions. Trillions. Ooh, I'd I'd watch that. <laughs> Um, in a statement a PCA and Activision spokesperson said of the hiring Brian's unparalleled success in the business world and distinguished career as an infantry captain in the US Army makes him an excellent addition to our leadership team the lead to lead our organization towards future growth we believe in honoring the legacy and extraordinary sacrifices of veterans and we recognize and appreciate the expertise and vigor they bring to everything they do Again, so not against hiring combat veterans Good, good, good stuff. Good shit right there. But I mean, to bring another cyberpunk reference, to bring a cyberpunk reference in this, <coughs> is Activision becoming Militech? I mean, I wouldn't put it. Pa- I wouldn't put it past them though. Does Square become um, Arasaka? Like, what are we doing? Like, you know those Japanese companies, like those, those Ibatus, like they have multiple revenue streams. Mm-hmm. Is this is why they is this do. why Microsoft has not bought Sega yet? Because Sega is actually bigger than we think it is. Sega. Yeah, Sega ain't going nowhere. Like Sega. Yo, if they release a new version of the Dreamcast, oh my god. Do you really yeah. think Sega is gonna put in a make more hardware? Yeah. No. I, they they're probably not going to, but if they did. Right. I always I I I, I still I still continue to say that Nintendo should just go ahead and be like Sega, just come over, come here, Sega, come here. Don't they come do here. that already? Come here. No, I'm just, no, come here. Oh, 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 come to here. acquire Sega. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think yeah, I think I agree with you. I think Nintendo should acquire Sega, not Microsoft. Yeah. But yeah, Microsoft. I, I, I feel like Microsoft would fight for that because they still need yeah. that foothold in Japan. Right. Because it's like, like either way. Sega being Sega being Sega being on we, we would still win. Yeah. We all would win. Because if Sega because if Sega not saying Nintendo would do this, but if Sega had was under Nintendo, then Sega be, can be like Sega app for just throw a Sega app on the uh the NSO. Mm-hmm. They're not. They're not gonna do it, but they could do it. Yeah. They they would be definitely open to do that. Not saying they will, but they could. And if Microsoft bought Sega, Microsoft would have that that great foothold in the East, and all the Sonic games would be all the Sonic games would be on Game Pass. Um, I'm just looking at it as I don't have to try to finish all seven Yakuza or all six Yakuza's before they before they leave Dream um, Game Pass. I mean, it's still third party right now, so it... I mean, it's third party, but it ain't, it ain't going nowhere. I mean, <laughs> Microsoft, Microsoft could be look, like, "Hey, look, yo, we already got we all, you look, you already got angry that. gamers who are pissed that Outriders is not available on PC Game Pass." Not yet. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not mad. I'm just like, I'm, I'm literally like saying, like, if it comes out, like, I'm not buying it. 
unless it's on unless it's on PC Game Pass. Because I I fundamentally don't that cause that kind of reminds me of Destiny, and I don't want to. And I've already paid for Destiny, and I don't want to buy play a Destiny like game like that and pay money for that. I I just want to go ahead and play it on pay, on PC Game Pass. And if it's on PC Game Pass, as soon as it comes on PC Game Pass, downloading it, playing it, beat whatever story, play with some of y'all, and that's it. <laughs> like that's it. But um. Yeah. But yeah. Again, I'm gonna we call it's a it's a Negro Domin it's a Negro Domus prediction here. Activision Blizzard is gonna be the next Militech. Yep. That's one I, I this is a joke one. I really would hate for this one to be true. Oof. <sighs> Same. There many a times I've made predictions. I'm like, oh I wish I was wrong on that. Yeah. <laughs> really wish I was wrong yeah. on that. Any time to be wrong, it's this. <laughs> so, Anka, this one's for you. <laughs> New Xbox Series X wireless headset revealed with limited Bang & Olufsen Bioplay series. Bang & Olufsen. Sounds... Bang & Olufsen sounds like a, a indie ba- an indie like alternative rock band. Mm-hmm. That plays like OK Go type music. <laughs> they used to go the, ahead in and two thousand eleven. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, new. Is it limited? These are limited. Yeah, limited um, series headsets. It comes in three colors: white, black, and blue. Mm-hmm. That see. navy kind of nice, though. I'm sorry. The names are black. Anthracite, gray mist, and navy brass. Yeah, I'm, yeah, you already lost me with the names. I like, mean, look, but we can't say nothing with Google's, with, with the pixel color names. Just black. Just black. <laughs> just Simply black. white. <laughs> well, you know, Microsoft just ain't no black. better. The black set Xbox, you know. Like, yeah, I'm still. <laughs> I, I, look, I am still. <laughs> on the fence about that not to say that the name isn't bad but again a black person had to have given them that name though right <laughs> like we can't blame microsoft for that but why would they keep it it's not good <laughs> it's not again good. i don't have the answers for you anka this is why i go to you <laughs> I don't know. you the xbox fan girl here not me i could have literally said anything else I mean, I wish it was somebody like ass, but you know, he also fuckboy shit. So, um, mm. <sighs> I reminisced about that too. So, man, mm-hmm. that, that, group, that group. Some great things came out of that group, but. <laughs> Whew, great things. Also, bad things. Yeah, glad we were able to save this. I'm glad we were able but to save great... Talk Thursdays. Same. Yeah. Same. Um,. So players will be able to customize the chat and game sound balance, view control volume through both the headset itself and the special banging all of sudden audio app. Ooh, you get an exclusive app on the Xbox for these um, headsets. Um, this peripheral is also this peripheral also is confirmed to work on both generations with Xbox Series X and S and the Xbox One. For those curious, Xbox also confirms that this new headset is also compatible. Damn, it's a lot also in this article. Um, compatible awesome. with PC awesome. and mobile devices through Bluetooth 5.1 and AppDex mm. Adaptive to ensure that the sound quality never falters no matter the platform. But wait, there's more. It makes your coffee for you. Oh, I wish. That would be dope. So I'm going to offer, so wait. I offer that I take coffee any days. I don't drink coffee. I'm sorry. So there's a mic built into this, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean... I mean, it's probably like, I mean, it looks like it's the same design as the $100 headsets and like the Surface headset that they came out with. Yeah. That I think all of this is based off of. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the $100 one has the thing. The little mic thing. Oh, it has a mic. I thought it, I thought the headset was built into the cup. Mm-mm. Oh, like, I know the Surface ones, like they don't have, like, because again, they're supposed to like the premium over ear headset, like the microphone is built into the 
to the device. I didn't know there was a headset part to it, which kind of... Maybe I'm wrong, but I could have sworn I saw a mic thing sticking out. I could be wrong. Well, for the $100 ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a mic. Oh. Yeah, that's... Yep, there it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a bummer. I don't... I don't I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I thought it was just a contained headset without it. I, I'm not a big fan of, like... Like, I had to take... I took the the mic off of this headset. Maybe it's detachable. But the whole thing is, like, if I wanted to talk to people, I'd have to reattach it, right? Yeah. See, that's the that's the thing I'm trying to avoid. Like, I want it to still be a functioning headset just without a visible microphone. Mm. It can be done. I mean, but I guess it, it would can also... Be cost $499.99 in order for it to be done. Yeah, I remember like, I remember like the uh, the PlayStation ones, uh, the four, the ones for the four, I think the one for the three and the four, they had the, uh, they didn't have the ones, they had like the little nub, and I think like the new fives, they don't have the nub, so they're all built, built in. Like, yeah, I know my so, Arctis suit, my, um, my still suit's Arctis headset. Like, it has a retractable microphone, but it's like a little nub I can pull it, pull out or keep in, and it'll still work either way. And this is the mic for my Panasonic headset. <laughs> yes, I'm not a big fan of those. Like, I like my I, I like my Astros, but yeah, it's just... I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's like, when I first when I first got into streaming, was talking to a lot of people, um, like... They were old, like people always say, man, I gotta get that mod mic. Like, what is that? Also, well, mic it's a, like mic you get attached to um just headphones. You don't need to have, you know, like buy a new headset. Like, that just seems like a bad solution to something. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like just like, like hey, cables. just attach this thing. It's like mm-hmm. two cables. It's like I don't know. This seems like a really bad solution. So, yeah, sure, like, making attachable microphones, like, either building it in or having it removable from a headset, that was better. Still not great. Like, I'd just rather have the microphone just built into the unit and just, like, have one contained unit. But, yeah, I guess it costs money. And, again, in, in the case of these, um, banging all of some, um, Xbox headsets, um, it costs you $500, which... Just so you know, it's the cost of an Xbox Series uh, X. Or, actually, no, it is the cost of an Xbox Series X. That thing retails for five hundred dollars, right? Yeah, I thought it was. Is it is it four ninety nine or three ninety nine? What the Series X? Mm-hmm. Well, we can find out. So I love about having a show on the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Well, it says that starts at thirty four ninety nine, but <laughs> four ninety nine. Sure. Yep, four ninety nine. Yeah. So yeah, you can either get an Xbox Series X or you can get a banging ass pair of headphones. Mm-hmm. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. It's yours alone. Go back. <laughs> um. So yeah. Nice looking. They're nice looking headphones, but yeah. Again, no. I, I remember from my birthday, I said, you know, I, I was thinking about getting you those AirPod, uh, those AirPods, um, the AirPod Max. This man, no, n- no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> like, that's not, like it's like it's like I want to say, oh, please, thank you, but it's just like no. <laughs> like yes, anyway. I want to do something so nice. No. Mm-mm. Don't no. do it. Don't do it. That's way too. Exp- that's way too expensive. Especially no. after she bought me the AirPods Pro. Like, you will get the Mac. Please don't. No. Please don't. Mm-mm. Please. <laughs> like, I know how much you love me. You don't have to do this. I, I appreciate. I appreciate the gesture. I love you for that. No. But no. <laughs> and it's like I'm pretty sure like other people who may be like serious Apple fans or audiophiles is like. If their significant other told them that and they said, yeah, I decided to get they may be upset. It's just like, it's, again, for me, like, I don't, like, I didn't really get many gifts for my birthday and it's fine. I think mainly, like, finally now having a birthday in the middle of the pandemic, it hit me how alone I was. 
Um, because like last year I was out, I had a party. Right. So it was like that hit me more than not having any gifts because I whatever. Like I'm blessed to where it's like if I want something, I will go buy it. It's not an issue. Um, so like right. I'm not missing anything um, <laughs> other than people. Right. So it was like, yeah, like hearing that news and telling like, oh no, yeah, they were too expensive. Okay, great, thank you. Because I don't know what I would do with you if you did that. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I feel like right. other people upon hearing that news, it's like, yeah, I was gonna get you those new headphones, but yeah, they were too expensive. It's like, but I thought you loved me. <laughs> like, like if, if 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 my wife showed up with those headphones, like I, I look, I thought you loved me. <laughs> Why did you give me these? Why'd you buy these for me, girl? I don't need these. I mean, the gesture, I appreciate, but take them back to the store. Yeah, like look, take, my, take like, them back. I will take half of that in cash, like. You can just give me two fifty in cash. Use all the 250 to get yourself something nice. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <sighs> but yeah. Um, and last but not least in gaming news. Wow. I wasn't sure if I could put I wasn't sure if I put this in deals. Or but I kept it in gaming news. Um Xbox Game Pass can now stream Xbox 360 and OG Xbox titles on Android. Your Game Pass streaming library just got larger. You know, th- seeing this right here, seeing that, like, absolutely takes me off when it comes to Sony. Because it's like, even if it's like a handful of games, like, to be able to play Viva Pinata on my phone and have the ability to do that. With touch it's controls. Awesome. With with control, yeah. And I'm like, that really truly irks me. That it's like, for whatever reason, Sony hasn't figured out, oh hey, maybe we might want to play our old games on our from our old console generations. Maybe we might want to do that. And that's okay, and that's fine if you want to do like H H D remixes. That's fine. PlayStation 3 had a ton of those and and so did PS4 but allow yeah. us the uh, the ability to play some of our old games. So my question is that I started thinking about this especially when there was the news like the FPS the, the FPS boost stuff and how they were using the direct the direct three um the DirectX APIs to mm. do that without necessarily talking to the developers to get it to work. Do you think that Microsoft is able to do this or able to get backwards compatibility working so well on their side because they've been using DirectX, which is essentially, you know, this tried and true gaming set of gaming APIs that have just been existing for decades at this point that they just mm-hmm. ported to a console as opposed to Sony having to do other shit on there. It's like for the PlayStation, the PlayStation 2. And I want to say PlayStation 3, like, we can look at, like, now we got Vulkan to where, you know, people can make, like, using the open source API Vulkan and make games for fucking anything and it'll work anywhere. Right. But before, that wasn't the case. Like, with mm-hmm. Sony, they had to use Sony's APIs to get it to work on a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Whereas with Microsoft, like, they use shit that was working on Windows. It would be easier to port Xbox games to a PC. It would be easier to port them to different systems. Mm-hmm. It'd be right. easier to emulate because of the fact that whatever the Xbox was running on, like it was similar architecture at that point. Right. Maybe not the same, but similar. To keep in mind that you could play Xbox games on an Xbox 360. It didn't matter what console. Like I'm pretty sure if you bought the latest iteration of the Xbox 360, you could still play those Xbox games. It did, you didn't require special hardware like the PS3 did for PS2. Right. Like there was no emulation. There's no emulation layer. It just fucking worked. Now, sure, going from the 360 to the one, there was emulation because now you're dealing with separate chip architecture. Like you went from a power PC unit to an in, like an x86 unit. 
So you ha you would have to emulate a 360 at that point, but because of the fact that whatever DirectX APIs were there, it was a lot easier to do than trying to emulate the entirety of a PS2 or a PS3 on a PS4. Right. So like, I'm wondering if, if like, honestly, Microsoft just made it super fucking easy because, hey, we are a software developer. This is what we do. We just right. put this shit on silicon and here you go. The reason why right. the Surface is actually doing as well as it fucking is. Right. Cause like I say, just just you say it's like they're a they're a software they were a software company they were a software company forming the hardware around the software, you know, forming the software around the hardware. Yeah, I mean it's like they looked at Apple's. Oh wait, well Apple does the whole thing. They like they just they make the software, they make the hardware good. There you go. Right. Google starts doing that with well, they were looking at it with Nexus. They were getting third parties to make the devices and put the OS on these third party devices, but then with the Pixel, they started making their own hardware and Pixel devices, even with the Pixel 4a, it's still a good fucking device. It's un like woefully underpowered compared to getting like my iPhone 12 Pro. But right. for what it is, because that hardware and that software is so tightly integrated, it fucking works. Right. So to see Mike said, Well, shit, well, we got DirectX. We could just make a DirectX box that has our heart that has our software on it we know how this shit fucking works mm -hmm. all we gotta do is get somebody a dev kit hmm, on windows mm -hmm. like it yeah like i feel like yeah micro well, microsoft you know being a software company as much as you know i among them people laughing at microsoft no just sit there and make your little windows and office don't fuck with video games let sony and nintendo hash this out that they they're good at this also, mm -hmm. again, people looking at Sony is like, look, this is a Nintendo and Sega joint. Atari couldn't hang. It's a Nintendo and Sega, but yeah, obviously Sega got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. Some say probably turned into Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think Sony is going to be able to do what Microsoft can because just looking at how that shit was developed, like how their consoles were developed, how their technology was developed. Mm. Sony doesn't have that pipeline. Yeah. And it, right. honestly, like, I would like to hear Mark Sony maybe comment on this. It's like, yeah. Why, why can't you? Oh, oh, is it because the fact that you don't have a unifying, you know, gra um, graphics API system like DirectX yeah. and Mi like what Microsoft does with DirectX? Is that, right. you know, I don't know. I would say, like, people would be happy to hear you say that. Mm -hmm. Like, just yeah. say that. But yeah. again, majority of gamers don't give a shit and if you were to tell them the truth it's like I don't care I still want to play fucking medieval on my PS5 like and I don't mean that remake I mean the fucking PS1 medieval right I want to play medieval right I would I would leave, I would be like yeah still want it but at least I would know the company line when it comes to backwards compatibility yeah. in games like, so that's like this is what you feel, and then I can go like, okay, my put. I'm just gonna like wrap. I'm just gonna like wrap my, not, like basically, make sure that my PlayStation Three lives forever. Yeah, or at least and, understand and, like yeah, or at least understand like okay, well you're gonna have to emulate a PS3. Got it. And we understand like this may actually take more time because it, there is no streamlined process. Right. Like, it's easier again. It's easier to emulate a system if all of your tech is essentially built off the same thing all of it iterated on itself right you can slide that back you can it's like again me emulating an old system to play old pc games at that point right the hardware is still essentially the same like it's still x86 like i can't <laughs> emulate like on my m1 mac i can't i can't install a virtual machine of a windows pc because that right. architecture just isn't there right i can kind of emulate it but mm -hmm. nobody's doing that fucking work because that's a lot of work. So again, if you just told me that, right, then I won't expect it. If you right. make it, then it, oh man, it's cool. Thank you for doing that work. Here's some money. But mm -hmm. at least just let me know. Like, look, is right. this the reason why? Right. But don't. That's what I'm saying. Either you, either you not gonna do it, or you and and then people are like, okay, well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get ROMs emulated. 
or ISOs and emulate it. Or you and that's can't. Thing, like, that exists too. Like, yeah. The, the fact that these emulators exist on x86 platforms, like, meaning the PC, right. I feel like if Sony really, really wanted to do this, they could get those emulators to work on a PS4 and a PS5. Mm-hmm. You're, like, the PS5 bank. is running a fucking Zen 2 CPU. The mm-hmm. same CPU that I have running in my, like same family CPUs that I have running in my PC right now. Oh, so yeah. I can I can launch a P I can go get a PS1 emulator and run that shit. Right. There's no, it's just that they can't do that. Optimize it and make sure that works. Right. Or at least you know stream that shit. Right. Because yeah, they because they would they would at least because they like yo they would have software engineers that could figure that shit out because they've done it before yeah. with the PS3. They've done it before with the PS3. If it wasn't for the fact that, okay, we hey, we can't do that and we don't, and we can't do that, then there wouldn't, these games wouldn't exist on, PS3, on PS3, but they do and and that's a different, and that's a different architecture, so just take that and move it over to the play, PlayStation but we have 4. To remember, but we have to remember, too, this is the company that only recently allowed you to um, change your PSN IDs. Yeah. So. Um, also, from the same country in which, you know, we're still having to use friend codes. Yeah. To become friends on a, plat- on a platform. Yeah. Um, I just saw somewhere, I saw in somebody's Discord, I want to say it was Twisted's Discord today, somebody had mentioned they sent in a Switch to get repaired. Nintendo sent them an email saying, hey, you can kind of prepare your system to, you know, d- re-download cloud saves, only to realize that Pokemon does not allow cloud saves. Mm-hmm. Which means Pokemon they may have doesn't... lost all their Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon doesn't do it, and Splat doesn't do it. I know Splat doesn't do it. So, what? again... <laughs> but Why? Probably because of player data, and then probably would be like, "Oh yeah, my data." Cheating, cheating, yeah. cheating. America, America. But um, Amazon yet. just now got to it not too long ago. Mm-hmm. But it seems like they don't want cheaters, and the best way to keep from cheating is like not allowing you to do shit over the internet. Nintendo is mm-hmm. definitely afraid of the internet. Yeah, yeah, Nintendo is very much. Mm. Um, but yeah, back to the cloud streaming stuff. The there are sixteen titles that awesome. are available. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Double Dragon Neon, Fable 2, Fallout New Vegas, Gears of War 2, 3, and Judgment. I'm speaking with, uh, with Judgment being a part of this. Hey, Outriders, out now. Mm-hmm. Um, Jetpack, Jetpack Refuel, which has touch controls, Cameo, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, and for Oblivion, Viva Pinata and Viva Pinata TIP. Not sure what TIP means, but um, both. Yeah, have too. touch controls. I think Trouble in Paradise. Ah, uh, that sounds right. I'm gonna look that up. I I, I do remember it's something in Paradise. I, uh, yeah, I know I remember the Paradise part. Um, so yeah, there you go. More games to play on yeah. Game Pass. Um, I'm pretty sure I these were available on that. Game Pass, but <laughs> now you can play it on your phone. What was that? I was like I was like I I conferred it with myself like yes and I was like how the fuck did I know that? <laughs> Kev is all knowing. Do not question him. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> um, in update news, um, Apple releases an iOS four um, iOS updates fourteen point four dot two and twelve dot five dot two to fix critical security vulnerabilities. Um. Let's see. Apple said that a bug in WebKit could allow a malicious website to perform activate. Could, wow, that was definitely a, a sentence there. Um, <laughs> website to perform arbitrary cross-site scripting. The company said it is aware of a report that this bug was being exploited in the wild. They need to redo that sentence. <laughs> yeah, it's really fucking weird. So I just left out activate because it's like I don't know why that word is there. It made sense without the word activate, but here we are. Um, and remember, 14.5 is on the way, but it's not out yet. So, again, 14.4.2 for, mo- for more recent devices, 12.5.2 for devices that um, are not as recent. I actually had, like, I had to grab my iPhone 6 and update this. 
to 12.5.2. For reasons I have no idea. I don't even use the phone. It's just another device that rings when people call me. Why not? <laughs> I, I guess. Um, so Kevin says, Double Dragon Neon is super fun if you're into that type of game. I, I think I, I might have played it. I should probably go back to see what that is. Um, games with gold this month. Um, of course, we got Vikings, Wolves, and Mid of uh, Midgard. Mm, excuse me. For the entire month of April, True Racing Championship will be um, showing up on the 16th and available till May 15th. Dark Void is arriving on April 1st and will be available until the 15th. And then on the 16th, Hardcore Uprising will be available until the 30th. Uh, also, you have up until the 15th to play Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse. And I guess if, if you're reading this now, it's too late. Uh, Warface, Breakout, and Port Royale 3 were available up until the 31st. So, sorry. PlayStation Plus games have also been announced. Um, Odd World Soulstorm will be available on PlayStation Plus. Um, let's see. is the second chapter in Abe's Quintology. So, um, there you go. If you just want a random game in a series, there you go. Um, Days Gone. Uh, places for post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic open world adventure about a man and his motorbike is available. Mm -hmm. um, also, like that game will be on PC soon. So, hey. Is that a zombie army for Dead War from the makers of Sniper Elite 4 mm -hmm. will be available. Yeah. I'm about to say Game Pass. It's not Game Pass. It's PlayStation Plus mm -hmm. for the month of April. So some big, some big games. Big games. Yeah, big games drop. I was actually surprised to see Days Gone <laughs> listed there, but um. Same, same, because I was like, what? Yeah. Wow. It's like, kind of reminds me of like last month when it was um, uh, what was it um? Yeah, I forgot what it was last. Oh, Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah, the remake. Yeah. The remake. Yeah, I was like, wow, that's another. Um, That's dope. All the big game, all the big games drop that I don't play on the platform <laughs> when I stop, <laughs> when I stop uh, my PlayStation Plus account. Um, not to bitch you too. Like again, speaking of big games, Control is part of the Humble Monthly for this month. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. is that in Chimera, um, XCOM, Chimera Squad, amongst a few others? Oh, um, they got. Uh, that one, yeah, that one came became available to me earlier this week. But I also picked up a racing um, bundle, mainly because they had NASCAR Heat. Mm -hmm. And man, I have not played a NASCAR game in so long. So when they announced, I was like, "Oh, I got to get this. I need NASCAR Heat. I need to play me some NASCAR. I, I cannot watch NASCAR, but I can play me some NASCAR. NASCAR Heat." And I'm really contemplating buying this. Um, a, a driving wheel for my PC. Dude, but go, I've been, dude, I've go been looking ahead. At them. I've been looking at them. I might, I might pull the trigger. I really might. Yeah, then you can get like Forza. Oh, and oh you dirt. know, you, you, look, I love some racing games. That's why I'm really looking. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm hoping too, like if I were to pick one up and then try to play um, Project Cars 2 in VR, I won't get it sick. But again, I still think mm -hmm. it's a motion thing for me. Yeah. Not so much. A, oh, my my hands are not doing what the steering wheel wants me to do. Yeah, I think it's just more like, like I'm driving a fast car and I should be leaning, but I'm not. Yeah, Ollie, and then EA EA Play get a uh, most wanted burnout burnout paradise. <sighs> I do. It's a, look, there, there may be there may be some stream weeks where it's nothing but racing games for a bit. I don't, I don't think I don't think I don't think I got a problem with that. <laughs> I might, I might actually have to buy that new webcam. <laughs> so, oh, so speaking of what you, um, I walked into my Best Buy yesterday when I was picking mm -hmm. up my hard drive. There are C922s in Best Buy. They're a hundred mm -hmm. bucks, but that's about how much they were. That that's actually like their regular retail price, like yeah, because these bad. are the newer ones. Yeah, um, so like... there, there were C922s in a Best Buy. 
Yeah. Almost bought it. Yeah, wait, Almost those. Wait, are those like the ten, the ten EP sixty? Yeah, like, so you know, like the C nine twenty was like the one, like the one everybody was getting. Yeah, like these are like the step up. Yeah, like these are the ones that when they came out, they were boasting oh. the fact that they did background removal through the Logitech software. The C nine twenties didn't do that. These did. Mm. Mm. Um. So yeah, I, I don't know if I if I get that if I get that steering wheel, I might buy that webcam so we can kind of see what that's like when I'm driving with steering wheel and maybe get the VR stuff. Oh man, it's going to be great. I'm excited. Yeah, have, have a steering wheel cam. Yeah. Do the downshift. <laughs> see the well, guy see, these, that... These, these um, have paddle shifters, so... Oh, shit. Oh. Did you guys see the guy that um he inverted his pedals and built like a makeshift car rig and like he attached them to like some two by fours and um yeah that's pretty cool i have to find it yeah. i know like there are people who buy or who build elaborate racing rigs mm-hmm. um like i know and, they, and i know like they're like when i was looking at the wheels I, I saw some actual like rigging that you can buy if you could put like you could set up monitors in front of it, or you could like set it in front of your TV, and you can just kind of sit like, as if you were in a car and driving. And I, I looked at that too. So, one day, one day, especially with my VR headset, I don't really need the screens. I can just use the VR headset and just be like in the car. Um, and it was one, it was a convention I went to where somebody actually built a moving rig and that was like that took me places oh man um also i can't remember we were talking there was um an art um initial there was an initial d um arcade game that ran on hydraulics I think I've seen that. So when you be hitting them turns, that car moves. So the you be like, deja vu, do, 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 do. And have, like, y'all, have y'all seen the meme of the Ever Given? Oh, um, yeah. It was yeah. like the 3D model of the Ever Given um, set to the um, song in Initial D. Yeah. Oh, my God. I played that like 20 <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> I, played, I played that like twenty times. I was just like, look, <laughs> look. If if I get if I get in that thing and I don't have like a cup of water in the in the in the cup holder, I'm gonna be disappointed. Because <laughs> the thing about the cup of water was he had to like that would that all that thing he had to do. Have you have you what? You, you, no, have you that's what? the thing. I want that. If we're gonna talk about anime that I okay. need to see. That's the one we'll, I we'll, want to we'll watch. Fi- initial D. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to we'll, we'll have to figure out how we can watch Initial D. But the reason why he had the cup, the reason the thing of the cup of the wa- cup of water is, is he had to transport tofu because he's like his dad had a tofu company, and tofu is like that what it has the water right. Mm-hmm. So he has to so he has to deliver it to this hotel up this hill, which is a which is a classic drifting spot. So this plays up the hill. So, but he has to get it at, at a specific time. But he has to get there fast and consistent. So he put the cup of water. So his dad says, "Okay, fills up the cup of water, puts it in the thing. If you spill, the, if he spills the cup of water, that's the same thing as what's happening with the tofu. So he's got to drive in a way that he doesn't spill the water." Because if he spills the water, it's the, it's like that's what's gonna also happen to the tofu. The tofu will spill so, out. So the tofu will spill out. So he's like driving. So he's like, <laughs> so he's driving, drifting, and and every so often he looks at the cup of water. He says, "I'm good." <laughs> and then he's like, looks at the cup of water. She's good. <laughs> and I'm like, that that right there cracks that thing. You know what? Delights me every that time. So me- yes. That makes me want to go back and watch Tokyo Drift to see if there are any cups of water in any of the cars. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> just, just to see, just to see if like they just put like a nod to initial D in the 
That would be dope. That would be dope if they did. That would be dope if they did. But yeah, we're gonna add that to the list. We're probably gonna Yeah, I need like, to, I need Uncle, to we're, Uncle, we're gonna have to hook we're gonna have to like get him like like recommendations of anime for real for real. <laughs> like initial D. That's not, that's not even regular shit. I give, that, that's about because I love drifting. I love drifting. Okay. I'm I'm gonna be looking at I'm gonna be looking drifting. at. Up. I hate drifting in video games, but I love again. Tokyo Drift is my favorite Fast and Furious movie. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You know, Major, you wouldn't be interested in my anime. All I watch is romance anime. Yeah, I can <laughs> tell. I can tell. I, like I'm sort of looking at it, like we thought. Like I don't even know what the hell is going on here. I keep talking about Subaru. I was like, are we talking about cars, rally racing? Let's go, <laughs> bro. That's a whole. That's just one. That's, ReZero is actually pretty good. You actually might like ReZero. See, but, this is why I want that steering wheel, so I can just drive Super Roos. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'm, I'm going to just start is trolling it? in your server. Every time you mention Super, I'm just going to start posting pictures of, like, rally cars in there. <laughs> like, give me this. Is it? I think I think, I think Initial D is on Hulu. Ooh. I'm, lo- right. I'm, 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 conf- I'm, con- I'm searching to confirm. All right, while he's looking for that, let's move on. Let's try to <laughs> close this up. Of course, I had to do this really quick um, to make sure I had the This Week in Epic. Um, Epic Games free game this week is, or sorry, I said it's the next free game. I'm sorry. Tales of Neon Sea is free this week, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, which one is free? I, I've got it. I've got it in my server. Hold on. Let me. I can't remember which one it was. Okay. Yes, Tales of Neon Sea is free this week with um Oh, this is actually what this article is. So yeah, Tales of Neon Sea, and let's see, next week is What oh, does it say? Doesn't say what next week is, but yeah, Tales of Neon Sea is free this week on the Epic Game Store. So um yeah. There you have it. And there. Hmm. Yeah, but okay. So. Okay, yes. So initial D is on Hulu. I've I've confirmed it. Is it subbed or dubbed? It's both. They have both. Fantastic. So you can so you can do dub. You can That's do sub. That's exactly dub. what I want. I want dubbed. Yeah, dub dubbed is good. I've I've, I've watched the dub. Stop. It's, Anka. Like, it's still good. Anka. Stop. Anka's it. like, Ugh. stop it. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. None of that. <laughs> I am a busy man. I have no time to sit there and read. I am a busy woman, and what's your excuse? <laughs> yeah. I'm probably editing this show or any of the videos that I'm doing, or maybe playing a video game. Yeet. One of those is optional. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, look. Civ five, well, I'm about to say Civ five can't. Civ five won't play itself, but actually it does. It, 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 <laughs> it does. does. You know what's funny? I'm thinking about like maybe sometimes I'm like, let me just run Civ six and just run it, and that it plays itself, and then stream that, and then just like see what see what happens. <laughs> you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, like. That's actually not a bad idea. I should probably just wake up one morning and just set it up. That way, like, mm-hmm. I can actually just do work and just right. kind of monitor whatever's going on in the computer while that's happening. Be um, like, oh, be like, oh shit, gun, gun, he's popping off again. <laughs> yes, Black Cat, that's exactly what's happening. Also, I don't know what list you're talking about. That, that, that list doesn't exist. I don't know what happened to that list. It's in a server long gone. Uh, but yep, that's it for the news. Kev. Yes, what you got going on this week? Um, uh, yeah, holy holy week. Um that that was a that was a cluster fudge of epic proportion of a lot of stuff happening. Uh, so, and even next, and even next week when, when Holy Week is over with, I still have the yard work to do. So, but then at, but then it's like, it's just, it's just yard work. So that's, that, that's great. It's just yard work and streaming and, and, you know, and probably hyperventilating because I'm allergic to grass. Um, what else? Uh, if you haven't been, if you like like tycoon games or like research management games 
go check out evil genius 2 world domination it is so much it is so fun i'm enjoying it and uh even though i'm not even though i my my lair gets constantly raided by the forces of justice <laughs> and i'm not the best on like base like lair layouts just yet i'm still just enjoying like just experimenting with it and just enjoying the pro like enjoying the process and failing and failing sideways so love that uh monster hunter, monster hunter rise very good game i haven't had enough time to really meld into the game like i really wanted to because of holy week so i'm uh, gonna be stream gonna be streaming some more of that next week and then subsequently just playing that and just doing hub missions and hub quests so that's fun the bunny dango song it's the best, and you and you can never skip it. You can't skip it. Are it's you saying that so... we're not allowed to skip it, or the game won't no. let you skip it? No. First of all, you're not allowed to skip it because it's so cute. <laughs> it should make everybody listen to it because it's so good. It is so good, and the animations are so good, even for the Switch. And I, he, and I have to keep telling myself, this is a Switch game, this is a Switch game, this is a Switch game. Because it looks so good. It looks good. And I'm like, oh my god, when PC comes out, even on my age, my very, very aged 1060, it's going to look amazing. Like, it's going to look amazing on the ten, on the 1060, on my aged, old 1060. Still hanging, still clinging to life, 1060 um so yeah um and at some point i'm gonna, and at some point i'm gonna crack open the octopath because oh, yeah. I, I gotta like i got to like i said, like, like I said we, got, we gotta do like a book club for that, that that's that's one thing i'm kind of waiting on too um yeah I'm trying to figure out where, where that's gonna fit i don't i don't, I don't found my three games for the week so I, yeah. it, it may i think i'm i think i'm burned out on paper on um not paypal but um hitman Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've played enough. Of, yeah, I don't know if I want to play any more of this. It was great, but I think I'm good. So yeah. maybe, maybe Octopath may be the, the 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 off stream game. Yeah. For the for the time being. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm gonna like. I'm just gonna play. I'm just probably gonna debating on if I'm gonna do Octopath on stream or Dragon Quest off stream or bat or vice versa or just maybe do a collection of the two. But I think I might. I might probably play a little bit of Octopath to see how everybody, to see if the community, how the community likes it, and then if not, then I'll just play that and get back to Dragon Quest again. Mm. Oh yeah. Ah! Okay. Um. Well, I have a pre-job interview on Monday. Oh my God! I can't believe it. <laughs> um but um other than that nothing much really playing with my gimbal yeah can't wait to see the new tiktoks bruh i gotta figure out how i'm gonna do this because i'm stressed i have so many good ideas but i feel like i need a filming team to accomplish <laughs> i'm thinking like I, honestly i'm thinking about the two like Luckily, I live like right down the street from my cousin. Yeah. And not to take advantage of his situation of not being employed, I'm like, you know, one, he is a barber, so maybe we can take care of this uh, because <laughs> the, the 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 dream of having twists is just not working out for me. Why um, not? Apparently, because we got to sit in the chair. Well, no, like that's fine. I I can oh. care like that. That's not an issue. Like again, charge up my switch. I'm good to go. Um, oh. get some good TV on. I don't gotta go in here for a while. It's just that when my wife tried to do it um, about a month ago, she noticed like a part of my hair was missing. And I think because I've been pulling it out because it gets tangled. So I'm like, you know what? It was a dream. I did what I had to do for the pandemic. It's not be like a Karen and you know have to go get my hair did. I you tried, should get it like, on the side. You know? that's what, and that's the thing, too. That's the thing I'm kind of debating, too. But it's like, I don't know. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to? You should do it. And then twist the top. That... So, yeah, I'm going to have to talk to some people then. Like, that, I, I said, um, 
Mega Rand, he, uh, or Random, he, well, actually, I don't know what he goes by now. I, I think it's Mega Rand. Um, he, his, his is like, they twist it on top and he's got it cut on the sides. I sent my wife a picture of him and his hair because maybe we could do this. Like, this can't be salvaged, but I don't know. You should do it. If you, if you like it, if you think it will look good, I think you should do it. My brother has that style right now and I think it looks good. So like that was one thing we had talked about before too, but it was like before even it's still like around that time where the thought of going to go, the thought of getting a haircut was like, so out of the question. Cause again, vaccines weren't a thing. So it's like, yeah, no, we're just going to grow it all out. This is what we're doing. We're not leaving until 2025. So I'm going to have a fro by then. Like, nobody's gonna hear that but um yeah you say twist or are you uh, are you gonna get locks I, I i don't know like okay. i've spent 32 years getting haircuts so whatever out what 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 whatever is it just clippers taking all of this off i don't know what it is i have no gotcha. terms none of that <laughs> gotcha um but yeah yeah, I'm, I'm, but yeah, outside of that, like, I've been thinking about at, like seeing if he'd be interested in kind of shooting some content. Um, like, I've got ideas for some things too, but yeah, it's it's, it's a matter of like bringing like everybody's comfort level, especially mine, especially because this year it fucked up trust. It fucked up trust real bad. So I was like, hmm, do I trust? Like again, his family was like, do I trust? Has he been safe? Right. And he's been unemployed. I don't know what he's been doing this past year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Granted, he's lived right down the street from me. I could have found out. I was like, mm, I'm not leaving my house. Fuck that. Mm-mm. Like, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's hard to, like, film by yourself. Yeah. And play multiple people. <laughs> that's, what, like, that's what I'm, like, hap- <sighs> okay, like, I think I mentioned this last week. I fell in the TikTok. I fell in the TikTok hole. Mm. Real hard. Oh, real hard. I've seen that wellness video two times yeah. already. Uh, yeah. Un- Anka, do you remember you heard about a person who said, <laughs> "Yeah, no, nah, I ain't gonna be doing like I ain't gonna be like on TikTok." You know, I'm just I like look I like looking at my TikToks on Instagram. You know, <laughs> on the gram. And yeah. then I look up. Not only is he on TikTok, but he is actively TikToking. <laughs> Mm. Mm. When, mm. I, when I discover how easy it was, mm. <laughs> mm. I'm never gonna do it. <laughs> Three weeks later, hey guys. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, like TikToking aggressively. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was trying that one a day, but yeah, a bit, like, yeah, the surplus. Yeah, okay, I was. <sighs> I got some good right. ideas out. I got some good ideas out. But it's like, all right, I gotta. Mm-hmm. Sitting really, like, it's one I want to do, but again, there, like, the the one the one I'm sitting on now is another one where it's just my son and I. Yeah. But I need him to not be around when I do it. Yeah. Like, because like, if he sees me doing something, he's gonna be curious. Like, oh wait, no, no, you're not supposed to be here. Get out of here. Get out. Of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't judge me. Don't judge. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> my wife did this. She fallen into my house. Mm. 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 Throw your wife under the bus. Wow! She did. Wow! <laughs> wow! The shame. It be your own people. I mean, <laughs> it be your own folk, man. <laughs> Anywho. Yes, I'm looking at a team of people that shoot the videos with too, not just TikTok. Damn it! All right, what else going on? Um, got nothing else. I'm good. same old, same old. I'm good. <sighs> All right, let's see here for me. Streaming. I'm gonna. T- I am upset with the media coverage for Star Wars Squadrons. They did not prepare me for the levels of melanin in the Star Wars universe. Oh yeah, like melanin? 
Like Th POCs are represented. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I literally, I legit seen it, and I was like, yo, I could, I could, I could fly for either, for either and you fly the for Empire, both. the Republic, for the Rebellion, and not be close. It's just like, but it's just like. At least now you got more. It's like the rebellion. You got more dudes that don't look like you, like actual aliens fighting. Well, they've but always, like the rebellion's like, always been like that. Yeah, the rebellion's always been like that, and that's why I always loved, loved about the rebellion because it's like we're not only exclusive to all humans, but we're also exclusive to aliens too. Because aliens don't want, don't like the re rebellion either. The Rodians don't fuck with. <laughs> you mean like yeah, so. You know the Mon Calamari, like it's a trap. They don't fuck with him either. So I think you mean the Empire. They don't like the Empire. Yeah, they don't like the Empire. Yeah, He's like, yeah. The Rebellion doesn't like the Rebellion. So boy, there's a lot of infighting. Oh, my bad. <laughs> except for that one. Yeah, no, except for that wait. one. Except for wait. that one movie. I had to that we don't talk to see, about. Like, what is he talking about? Is he? Is he talking yeah, about I, the Empire? Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> also, I think see? You, you said you said exclusive. I think you meant inclusive. <laughs> Yeah, that's and, why yeah, I wasn't sure if you were talking about the empire because the empire is hella exclusive. Hella exclusive. It's like, but like saying the seventies was like all white guys, but now it was like, mm, mm. yeah, the, yeah. I mean, granted, where like when the game takes place, takes place like, mm, should I don't remember <laughs> when it takes place. I, it was right, so it starts right before, like right after Alderaan's blown up. So right. even at that point. There were still a lot of melanated pilots, right, in the empire. Like you started off like, boy, y'all all are different shades of black and brown. Oh, this is great. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is the empire. This is the it. empire. The empire. The empire you got this. Because all I seen, all I seen is a lot of bridge dude, like a lot of bridge white men. Like <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Like in order to lift, in order to go higher. But mm -hmm. shoot, we'll, we'll blow up all we'll, we'll blow up all the niggas. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Man Mandalorian when you got like uh, Moff Gideon, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, oh that's right. that man, that's right. When he that did. man came out, and I was like, Giancarlo, bro. And my man says, you have something I want, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm, have it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh. You know, my I know man you, came out with his cape. Like I know you work for the Empire, but man, it's glad to see a, a brother on the top. Mm -hmm. Good for you, a, sir. Good for with you. With a crisp, with a crisp curl, and I was like, bro. I was like, oh, you have something I want, and I'm like, uh oh. There you go. <laughs> have him. You mm -hmm. know what? Well, I don't even know why I got this kid. You can have look, go. whatever. Here you go, just, just bravo, somebody, bro. Some, bravo. Somebody come get him, please. Bravo. It's looking good Ooh. on you, sir. Ooh. But yeah, like just the levels of melanin in that game on both sides. It's like Ooh. I just Yeah, it's it's, it, it's like sitting women on, it's, pilots too is like Yes. Like it's like, do you sure this is from the same era? Because I watched the movies and none of y'all were here. British white man. <laughs> like, like, where were they? Like, they be all in the back somewhere? Like, what the fuck? I'm like, I mean, I remember, I remember Lando. I seen Lando. Lando? Lando? <laughs> you know, Shoot, the newer movies? The... Yeah. The newer the older movies, movies, it was, no. it was, it was, it was still a little underrepresented. Yeah. Still kind of hate the, what they did to, um, your boy John Boyega. Like you don't don't set him up and then it's like, oh no, he ain't the one. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Come yeah, on. I'm a, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need like Disney, Marvel, make make it up to him. Like Yeah, I hated that. <laughs> they do they doing they doing it for Oscar Isaac. So just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it for Finn too. I mean, like, I was so hyped when I thought and then I mean, at the you get to the end, you're like and don't get me wrong, like it's great to see a powerful woman. It's great for that too, but like y'all, y'all set up a brother. Y'all, y'all set up a brother. Like what is mm -hmm. this? You know they could have made them both. Exactly. Yeah. Either, either you, either you make, either you make him, either you make him a Jedi, 
See, I'd I'd rather him be the him him be the Jedi, and her be like the new Han Solo, that because she was doing more Han Solo y things than Jedi y things. So I was been like, yo, she could be like new Han Solo, he could be the new Jedi, because we ain't had because we ain't had a black Jedi since Mace F and Windu. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even think they're. Like, I Make mean, and shout, shout out to ah- Ahsoka Tano being played being played by Rosario Dawson. So it was like, yeah, sure she sure ah- Ahsoka isn't a black person. She is an alien. I can't remember what the, what her race is, but oh, I can't think of it either. She's at least being played by a black person. Sh- shout is out to Mando. Black? Yeah, shout out to Mando being um person of color. Shout out to Boba Fett actually being Maori. Yeah. <laughs> um even though Boba Fett originally was Australian. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess I mean I guess like I actually I don't know where Maori people are in the Pacific in, in the in the Pacific Island region. I'm not sure if they could also be in Australia. Um no, probably not. Mo- no, it's not, more not close to like it, it's not Twi'lek. Twi'lek is like yeah. they got the 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 the, the, the braid tentacles things. Yeah, yeah, it's the tentacles in the back of the head. Two, the um, two tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. um, yeah, like Boba Fett being Maori, um, Mando mm-hmm. being um, um, a Lati- uh, being um, Latino. I want to say Latino. I'm not sure what the what the accepted term is. So I hope sorry if I'm offending anybody for not knowing. Latinx. Yeah, or Latinx. Um. So yeah, like I mean, again, like it's great to see the diversity now. Like would have loved to have seen them in the movies, but yeah, like at least in the extended universe in games, you are seeing this representation. And again, mm-hmm. like this is fucking coming from EA. Yes. Um, yeah. They 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 learned they learned their lesson from Battlefront. That's when we that's when we have like Fallen Order and well, I mean, Squad well, Battlefront they had um um Janita. Gavankara, free... yeah. Like I mean, so mm-hmm. somebody there, well, I mean, somebody there. So yeah. Well, I mean, as far as like good games go, yeah. like solid Star yeah. Wars game experiences. Um. Just so yeah. Like I was playing Squadrons. Um. Going to do some VR stuff with that. Oh. Um, possibly this weekend. Somebody sent me a link to like it was a video, but it it kind of links to a voice mod four squadrons to where you can shout commands to a droid and it will do things in your ship so think connect mm-hmm. like you're giving a you're giving connect commands and hey forward shields back shields shoot a missile next mm-hmm. target mm-hmm. it's like okay you know what yep it's gonna be a lot of work i'm gonna see if i can try to get some footage of all of this stuff trying to get it all set up and i'm um, ready to go so yeah. right, maybe it may be a long setup video but hey i am here for it um, be like be like r4 set deflectors to double front <laughs> something like that something like that like it, it's it's a th- like it's a pretty cool thing it's a free tool um but you, you best believe That's that really cool. this works i'm going to be throwing some money their way like, yeah thank you so That's- much you did not have to do this this is great. Yeah, really, Appreciate it. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, so KFK Max says it's Tagruda. Tagruda, Tagruda. I don't know. The other T. Oh, Tagruda. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's still some more. Um, Yuku Zero being played. New, um, no Man's Sky being played. Mm-hmm. Um, in non tech related news. I have a popcorn maker <laughs> coming tomorrow. Props. Um, Thank God the praise for that. I've been eating. So, like, I, I love popcorn. Popcorn is one of my favorite snacks. And what I've been noticing is I've been making, like, a big bowl of popcorn and not been throwing the kernels away, mainly out of laziness. But mm-hmm. what it gave me the idea was, like, what if I put these kernels in a popcorn maker? Would those actually pop into kernels themselves? Which then just made me think, well, what if I just bought a popcorn maker and just made my own popcorn? So I did that. So um, it should be here tomorrow. 
I don't know. There may be a video about that. I might hop on the TikToks and show that off just because I can. I'm oh, really I'm oh, I'm looking forward to that. I am, I'm excited about it. Um, Again, like I said, as an adult, and especially in this pandemic era, every day is Christmas. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's see. What else is going on? Um, I think next, yeah, next week, actually, um, I want to say next Tuesday, if all goes well, it will be official. Your boy will be a part of the Landfest Board of Directors. And clap for prayers. Ratification is happening next Tuesday, so, um, I need to check and see what's going to happen. I may or may not stream Tuesday. Um, I actually just, you know, I may just take Tuesday off next week just to be sure. Like, I'm just not going to stream anyway. No Man's Sky will not be streamed on Tuesday just so I can make sure. Um, Thursday, the show should still go on as, as well, but I know I have a Edge Life Guild meeting, um, an interest meeting that, um, later on that night from earlier that night. So, um, stay tuned. But then again, we start later than eight o'clock anyway on this channel. So, yeah, yeah. well, I'll, I'll I'll keep people abreast as to what's happening. But um, hopefully, no other disturbances in the stream week should occur. But that's it for me. Hopefully, Sin is getting some well-deserved rest, keeping Good. keep keeping watch for all the April Fools' jokes that maybe that may have come his way. Again, this has been another episode of the Cinziac Stand Podcast, also known as Tech Talk Thursdays, for April 1st, 2021. On behalf of Kevin Kev, on behalf of the GOAT, Ineo Sinarka, on behalf of Cinziac, it's been your boy Mark Summers, Major Lennox, telling you that you could have been anywhere in the world watching any stream in the world. You could have been reading the tech news yourself, but you said no. No, thank you. It's not good enough. We need to hear the news, the good news, the bad news from the only podcast on the planet where we can sit there and talk about Holy Week and the fuckery that is Activision in the same breath. Yep. (laughs) Because you know we're that damn talented. Yes, sir. Thank y'all so much. And of course, all I've got left to say to you wonderful people out there is I love you. Peace. Wakanda forever.